I, I did play it a little bit in Goblin Storm. Oh, yeah, definitely not for a second. Welcome I, I did play it a little bit in Goblin Storm. Oh, yeah, definitely not for a second. Welcome I, I did play it a little bit. Oh god, that's the worst of echoes. The worst of echoes. I, I did play it. Oh god, that's the worst of echoes. The worst of echoes. There we go. Fuck him. No one's playing it in Goblin Storm. Fuck off. There we go. Fuck him. Welcome everyone. We're gonna play a bit of Pauper Burn today. Which, welcome everyone, we're going to play a bit of Pauper Burn today. Have I got like it on Echo somewhere Which, else? Where the fuck is it on Echo? Jesus. Right, there we go. Fuck, it's all gone. There we go. Happy now. Hey, Pip. How's it going, buddy? Why aren't you playing Priest combo? And there's a pretty good Goblin sack out like called Goblin, uh, Goblin Grenade. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now we're just playing... Mono red goblins. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dinx to Escalade, huh? Round one is up, Jinx. Thank you. Oh, okay. Bye, Russell. See you. See you in round one, Pedro. Yeah, see you in a bit, mate. How is it going? Hey. Yeah, not too bad. Can't, can't really complain. What about you, mate? Everything going all right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too sure. Yeah, I've got work is um is ethically challenging me at the moment, so I'm I'm Ooh, okay. I'm, I'm in a I'm in an interesting spot. But there we go. Apart from that, pretty good. Uh, there it is. Could be worse. Right, for, uh, select deck. Okay. You are Gringo, right? Uh, Grixis. Gringo is John. Uh, leave event. Concede. Concede. Well, I, <laughs> just, I literally Sorry. I went like went G, and I was like, there you go. It's the one just below it. That was G. Right, change player. Uh, format required. Pauper. Scroll all the way down. Down at the bottom. Required. Select. Right, now you shall get the challenge. There we go. Yeah, I got it. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, you get to go first. You mulligan. I'm also going to mulligan. Apparently, I do need lands to play magic. Yeah, I mean, surprisingly, you know, at least one would be nice. Okay, I can play this one. I can play this one. We'll keep that, and I'll put that to the bottom. 
Easy. Here we go. Ah, yes. So, yeah. Other than work, everything be going all right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Other work, everything's fine. Fine. <laughs> Same shit, different day, I suppose, given the circumstances. Pretty much. Let's spike you. You're going on. Oh, okay. So that's how it's going to be. <laughs> Your land lives for one more turn. <laughs> Maybe even two more turns, who knows? I, I did wonder if you were playing land destruction or just burn. <laughs> <laughs> we are yet to come... I'm yet to actually build the mono red land destruction. But I feel I probably should. Okay, let's do... Hmm, okay, I'll just go for... Now the question is whether I should be hitting... I mean, I'm trying to think what cards you could use in a mono-red land destruction. Oh, there's okay. loads. You've got Molten Rain, Pillage, oh, Stone yeah. Rain. Um, there's Volcanic Island if you want to use it. Not Volcanic Island. Oh, Active Volcano. There's a whole bunch. Okay, that's, yeah, there's quite a few. I mean, I, Molten Rain I knew because I've got that in my burn deck. But yeah, I didn't know about the others, actually. Interesting. Yeah, there's, a, there's a fair old amount of them. Right. Let's... Let's close this guy out. Oh, okay. So the life gain uh, elf is right. is a kill on sight. This means next turn. Oh, dear. This means next turn. What I can do is, if I get a land, I can okay. play out pretty much my entire hand, minus like an eagle drop, and deal a fair amount of damage. Okay, so he's got a lot of mana. This may be eating. This might be eating a burn spell. I don't particularly want to. So each of these is four. So it's got four, eight. It's not attacking anytime soon. Okay, so let's. So how much damage am I going to take now? I don't know, buddy. We'll find out. Yeah, quite a bit, I'm guessing, but sure. Spike you. And we'll run this guy out. So the reason I'm doing this is because this thing gives him access to loads of mana. So if he wants to put something in front of it, then he loses out on his own mana. Cool, I'm fine with that. Absolutely fine with that. So that's slowly reducing. It's still pretty good, but it's still reducing this. Then next turn, again, I've got access to... This can attack in, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he's pretty close to dead. But again, that life gain elf is a huge issue. What's this? Alright, that's fine. Unless he starts pooping out life gain elves. This might be eating a removal spell. Right, Twelve land. So we have. I think 
you got this attack first. Let's attack, see if we can go for three. You can't afford to go three, because he's too dead. Did you go for three? So let's tap. I think this needle drops there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that is exactly what we needed. Whilst we're in magical Christmas land, yeah, the needle the needle drop revealed. Oh, <laughs> oh. God Almighty! Could that have been uh, any cleaner? <laughs> I literally, I was like talking on my stream, you know, like, well, let's needle drop first, just in case I draw fire. <laughs> Yeah, just in case. Well, <laughs> okay. God, uh, fair enough. Okay. There we go. So, Magical Chris Man came through for that. I'm sorry about that one. No, nope, that, that was <laughs> clean as they come. <laughs> <laughs> right, sideboarding time. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, you too, man. Right. So, yeah, he's on mute. Uh, okay, so. That's two. So, Master of Ashes comes in, and Electricity comes in. Blah, blah. Reveal red cards, deal damage to each creature without flying. Sweet. Okay. And Electricity. So, those are coming in. What am I taking out? I'm tempted to take out these geek... Oh, the Love Runner, he has to just keep on chumping with. But it's not the greatest, because it literally is not going to be dealing any damage to him. So, I'm tempted to take at least skim on that. Curse is fine. Seeing blows is great. Needle drop is important. Fire blast is the thing. I think we do just. Yeah. Let's skim on the lava running through because he's just going to have chump blockers for days. It's not actually going to be pumping any damage through. Uh, anything else here? No. I think we just leave it that way. Let's just leave it that way. Uh, and submit it. Right, I have submitted 60 cards. Oh, indeed. Uh, yeah, I'll go first, Thomas. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, hmm. This is quite nice. Yeah, I'll maybe the greedy and keep this. I'm really tempted just to run out lava on the first and just start hitting. And we'll leave this as a surprise. We can't empty the hand though. We'll keep I think we're keeping this. I'm, I'm not, not keeping this. We've got we've we've got martyr. That's really good. I'm just thinking I run out the lava running first. Wow, nothing. No turn one. Interesting. Well I guess it'd be rude not to suspend that. <laughs> the classic. Yeah. <laughs> Great first start there. Yeah, you are right to waste on it. I kind of want to over let him overextend on this. Yes. 
just a few shots. Round of fun. Let's hit him with a lava slide because the bolt can answer a mine pod matter thing. And then let's play lava runner. And attack him. Now I am very conscious that I do need to have an appropriate number of red cards for this. I think I'm just going to bolt this. I'm going to bolt this and just keep on getting through. We'll save this. Hmm. I prefer to go bolt face, but I think this just gets us more. This is, I think he's I think he was gearing up for a big turn there. So if he now wants to start overextending basically just need to hit a red card off the top and I can just pretty much wrap him all completely. Um, the issue is it does kill my lava runner as well so we would be down quite a bit but I'm kind of fine with that. Okay, he leads a stampede. Stampede is led. What does he reveal? Four fucking guards. Query ranger, priest, priest, timber watch elves. Okay, cool. So when that enters the battlefield, then I think Wrath's going to be coming. Quirion, return of the forest. This could be a really good... Yeah. Sure. Here, maybe a bit too late though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. That's really tempting. Let's let's attack him. I just don't know whether I'm supposed to hold all of these and wait for him to overextend. I think I play a waiting game here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play the waiting game. If he wants to block with other elves, fine with that. That's fine. I'm just going to hold this until he overextends. Because this turn, he can he can play out his whole his whole hand this turn, and then Marta like fucking gets him in a half. Yeah, he's on the lead stampede already, so. Odd that he led with tapping the priests. Why didn't he lead, lead with tapping the priests? Is he expecting a wrath? He must be expecting a wrath. Oh. Hmm. Do I bolt it? I think I bolt it. I think I'm still going to bolt it. Still got enough to wrap his board. Distant melody or whatever it is. Not distant melody. Not great draw. I kind of want this guy there. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. 
obviously it would have been maybe better to hold that and just rack their whole board but yeah I should have held it hold this for screen blaze maybe I'm playing this too cautiously maybe I'm playing this way too cautiously and trying to get too much value I think I'm being greedy. I think that was I think that was a really greedy move for me by by killing the the thing. Down guards. I'm gonna get that box up. fucked up. Yeah. I fucked up. I was too greedy. I was far too greedy. Mind you, had I let the thing live, this would have been like way out of hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Uh, okay, so look, if needle drop. Let's chain lightning him. Yeah, he's he's gonna he's, he just block it with a timber shell, or this fucking four four. There's no way he doesn't block this four four. <gasps> So look, I'm going to attack this. Hopefully he blocks this 4-4. Please block your 4-4. Please block your 4-4. <clears throat> oh, go on, block the 4-4. You know you fucking want to. Ah, oh, you poopy, poopy head. Okay, fine. I'm going to wrap his board. Apart from the 4-4. The 4-4 is going to be there, that's going to be an issue. But I think I can outrace the 4-4. Uh, the So, <clears throat> he could have been dead had I not been so greedy. Ugh. Right now, I've got four points to burn. He needs more. Oh, that's not what we wanted to see. Can't believe we got fucking hydro blasts by elves. Just a lightning bolt. At least I've done some damage to you this turn. <laughs> there was that. <laughs> Leader Stampede was nice. Yeah. Oh my god, just the way you destroyed all the elves. Not even electricity, martial action. God. <laughs> I think I've got to fire blast him. 
feel so shit, but I've got to fire blast him. Yeah. Needle drop. Skewer. What? Undo. Cast a spectacle. And then let's pray for a burn spell off the top in our burn deck. <laughs> I mean, look, how many lands have we? We've already used one, two, three, four, five lands. I've only got another 11 in the deck. Yeah, it grows. Okay. So I have to find a burn. Oh, that was a good game anyway. Next turn. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Please just give me a burn spell. Even a forgotten cave. I'd love a forgotten cave. Forgotten cave or a burn spell. Yes. Yeah. I had I had land in hand, man. I was like, I need another burn spell. So yes, I got really greedy in that. Super greedy, because like I had the martyr for my opening hand. I was like, I'll oh, just let him overextend, let him overextend. Yeah. And then I kind of fucked up when he played the uh, the thing and had the second lead to stampede. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, I know the bit you're talking about. And I killed your uh, your uh, the hunt master. Yes. And I killed because I was like, okay, that's a little bit of an issue. But had I just kept on going for your face, I could have killed you. But then there was, I yeah, I kind of messed up a little bit on playing that in that second game. But I just, I was just kind of quite lucky. With yeah, I was going to tell you, he still, he still won it. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pip, Pip was watching that one. I possibly am, uh, possibly not play it the best I possibly could have. But it was a good game. And yeah, yeah, no, that was a good game. Yeah, I can't believe we got a Hydro Blast. Fucking. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was, not, I was not expecting to get a Hydro Blast <laughs> by elves. <laughs> there was a point in the back of my mind where I was like, well, he's got blue, but like, surely he's not playing Hydro Blast with like. Banking on getting his one off is a one off, right? No, I play three in the sideboard. Uh, what? Oh, no, uh, island, sorry. Oh, yeah, just one island. Yeah, that's why when I pulled out the Sylvan Raider and played that to get the island, I was like, yes, thank God, because I had that Hydro Pass in my hand since the beginning. Oh, I was wow. just waiting to find a way to get that that one island that I play. Yeah. Because the only other way to do it would be if I'd gotten the Birch Law Ranger and then tap two creatures to generate blue. That would have been the only other way I could cast it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty good. So. Oh, yeah. GG's. Oh, yeah, good game, definitely. I've not, I've, I haven't played Burn in a while, actually. I kind of fancy playing it now <laughs> after watching <laughs> Don't. It's yeah, not good. It's, it's not great, I must admit. But it's uh, it's mentally not too difficult for me today. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. It's, it's really like, can I cast a spell that will do free, free I, to your face? So, yes. I, I disagree with that, Mark. It involves counting up to 20, which I think is a little beyond you most days. Well, I can, I can count. Well, in all fairness, it, it kind of is like, I'm just going to go face. And if it starts to add up to 20, then, well, fucking great. Must, yeah, I, I, mean, I must admit, Pedro, that game, game one, it was literally so lucky. Yeah, I was literally just saying, so like, perfect. well, look, I'll needle, I'll needle drop him and then. Maybe if I get fire blast off the top, he's dead. I'm like, needle drop, fire blast, cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, sure, <laughs> sure, okay, deck. <laughs> Literally nothing more I could have done with that one. Just <laughs> <laughs> get out of here, Shamir. You're not playing in the league. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm hey, not Shamir. Right, right, right. Right. I'm, I'm just having a, having a gander. Ah, you like to watch. <laughs> That's me. Uh, yeah, creepy. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Oh, man. How's you it... could put the next round up in pairings, by the way, Pedro. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's put results in. Do, 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 do. Mark. Two, oh. Well done, Pip. And you're Thank you. As well. 
Mm-hmm. What do you want to find, Pep? Uh, I'll keep it secret. Keep it okay. Secret. Keep it secret. Because like, yeah, okay. there's, 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 there's a high chance that I could play Pep, even though we seem exactly. dodgy. Alrighty, alrighty, cool. Well, cool. If, as as okay, usual, Mark. If we end up, if I end up playing you, I will tell you what I'm playing before we start. In the interest of fairness. Yeah. Uh, Actually, in fairness, no, I know no. what Pedro's on. Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll tell you. I'm playing a modified version of Tyler's Tribe with Squadron Hawks in the main deck and Themos High Priest. Squadron Hawk. <gasps> oh, okay. What is this? Squadron Hawk. At one at one point last year became when Renan Six was around. Squadron Hawk became legacy playable. <laughs> it was legacy playable before that. Yeah, but it was actually it, like when when D and T got like just was like unplayable at mm. that one point. Uh, they just went to kind of white strategies with uh, the white force from Modern Horizon. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, yes. Which I saw and I was like, I was like, what yeah, the yeah. fuck is this? They went, they went Crusade <laughs> White, which was hilarious. Oh my god, I completely forgot that that deck existed for a little while. Yeah. That's insane. Otherwise, you couldn't play your white deck. It was oh, tragic. That is tragic. Mm. It's fine. Companions are dead. DNT is not back, but kind of, maybe, sort of. It's, like, it's dead. They need once Astrolabe is gone, then DNT is probably back. Yeah, yeah. Until the moment Go Wasteland actually becomes a useful card again, then DNT can play. Because like, let's face it, the, the deck is Wasteland. Yeah, when four color decks are playing Blood Moon because they are, they're also playing their Astrolabe, you know it's a bit fucked up. Look, it's I really fine. wonder how long it's gonna be before it gets banned. It's it's, it's like it's just everyone and their mother has now said that like. Astrolife can't be in the long term in any of these formats in which it's seeing play. So when are they just going to ban it? Because they don't really care, and so and there's no big events, so they they're not they've got not got data to point out where they can say, oh yes, the last massive legacy event, all of the top decks were playing Astrolife. I mean, that's just not true. There's tons of data. Yeah, like, on, mo on Modo, but that's not that's not ex publicly accessible, so wizards don't have to acknowledge its existence. But I mean, that's only I half I true anyway. There's a reason why we have metagame statistics. Yeah, but they don't give us the. F they don't give you all leagues as part of metagame statistics. No, that is true. That is true. That's that's why um, the pauper Reddit. They always post the results of every league um, that any of the members play in, as you know, so that they can keep track of the metagame. Because if you try and rely on wizards to publish them, you miss about half. Yeah, and and goldfish is so swingy. It's insane. True. Goldfish has a new top deck every two days. It's insane. Oh, <laughs> uh, nothing is nothing is changed. Oh, the basic. So there's there are special basic lands. Are these like promo basic lands? So how it works is there's there's a every planeswalker, every monocolor planeswalker, and this is M21 I'm talking, right? Just yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. Just, I just I just. So every monocolor planeswalker, there's this series of showcase frames. So for Chandra, it's got the Chandra frame, which is the same one that we saw in the spellbook. Which annoys me and... a little bit, I'm not going to lie, because that means the spellbook yeah. is not particularly that special. The yeah, yep. it makes the spellbook less special, which is really annoying. The Teferi um, one I like, because it's like the old the old card, card frames. Also, like, this was meant to be a Teferi, well, not... Well, yeah, it, it, do you, it was do told you, that like, it's prepared for the Teferi. Do you, think they, mm -hmm. do you reckon they slightly changed the set? Because it was... It was supposed. Oh, yeah. It was supposed to be to fairy thing. It was I, supposed to be a fairy set, wasn't it? I think. I think. Let's go back a year, and I think they realised that they. Uh, they may have. They may have been like. Oh, oh shit, People I really hate to fairy. <laughs> I didn't realise this was meant to be a fairy set. It was. Yeah. Like, everyone was scared Jeez. shitless. But okay. But look at this. If you're on my stream now, look at this planes. Wait, there you wait go. waiting for the delay. Wait, wait for. Yeah, it. it's wait, still wait. still waiting. There it is. No, there it is. Got it. Oh, the not too um, I I still can't see it. Oh, your connection sucks, but <laughs> no, it's because I'm I'm watching on my iPad. Oh, oh right. there we okay. Go. Okay, I see it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's I... so nice. Do not. I I have to see it in paper, but I don't like the look of that. It kind of it reminds me of the do you remember the Ravnica Guildland? Yeah. I really, That's exactly I, what it looks yes, like. Yes, I do recognize that. I, I really yeah. liked that. I know some people didn't, but I really liked that. But this, I liked some of them. Oh yeah, some Not of them. All. The Is it ones were pretty gorgeous. 
It is, is, the yeah, they were, yeah. luckily, is it is always the best. I luckily is, yeah. is it is one of the guild kits I actually managed to get. I didn't get I didn't get any of the seconds uh the allegiances set. Still salty about that fucking honor my my pre order bastards. But the um, I think I got the cause of one and that's it. And that's only because I won it in the tournament. Oh, then I'd love to get away with that. I it, it makes me feel that the Chandra stuff will actually look pretty sweet, I must admit. But uh I don't know, I quite like this. I haven't got many planes that I really like. Like I have the OG planes from uh like revised in fourth edition. And I have the John Avon full art unstable ones, which I really like. But Oh yeah, those are nice. But this I don't know, I quite like got... this. I really got... like this. 30 of each of my Urza Saga lands, and I'm happy. I think the frame's good. I like the art, because I, I don't know, just... I want Kent as a plane is is a really cool concept when you take away all the Volus crap that people were getting annoyed about back then. Just, like, the setting is is really gorgeous. Oh, yeah, I think Armor Kent was actually pretty cool. Um, yeah. I mean, this battery guy, apart from having a really shit lid, I think he's... He looks pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> but like, oh, damn. just a bit mean, to be honest. But he does have terrible haircut. But uh, I can't really talk. My hair's fucking like unruly as shit. I was playing Fallout yesterday. I know. I, okay, next time I do it, Pip, I will. I will actually look at my chat. I had it set up so badly I couldn't see my chat. That's uh, fine. I was. I was mostly tuning in out. I was mostly tuning in out of loyalty to up your view account. Um, I do appreciate that. As always. I, I was watching. I was watching Strippin play the Wild Hunt. <laughs> um. <laughs> but uh, I know, I'm gonna. I'm going I'm determined that I will complete Fallout Four on punch only. Well, you well, you've already you, failed because oh. I've seen you use a minigun. I had to. Okay, so I, I had to use a minigun. I, so I was, no, I was, no, I no, 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 no. Punch only means punch only. If you can't punch it, you run away from it. No, so I did. Until I did. you can punch it. Why did you try that's, that's the you I, did I, I, I tried to run away from it, Pip, several times. They were running faster than I could. So it then that, that sounds to me like you need to go back, find a save before you encounter them, and then skirt around. Yeah, no, I got, I got screwed by the quick save. I got screwed by the quick save. I quick save, and I was like, uh -oh. no excuses, Mark. I mean, that is just everyone who's ever played a Bethesda game. Just like, oh, quick save either saved my life or fucked me over again. Yeah, quick save. So, if you see that later, I've actually sold off pretty much all of my weapons. So I can't have a choice of even weapons now. And I occasionally <laughs> run into super mutants, and I'm like, well, I'm fucked. <laughs> so you're just fully specced into an arm. What are your What are your other stats like? So I'm I'm going in. So it's it's endurance and strength for the moment. But I've got a little bit of intelligence in there. My luck is not great. I think I need to start upping my luck a little bit. But I. It sounds like you're trying to build yourself in real life. So okay. So here's the thing. I so I I built I built the character to look. Yeah, no, I actually. So at the beginning, if you if you if you rewind back at the beginning, I'm like going through the stats and I was telling Laura and I was like, okay. So I can't really. I'm not particularly a lucky individual. So luck's gonna stay down at two. <laughs> so but isn't it quite important in the game? I'm like yeah, but it doesn't really seal true to myself to give myself luck. <laughs> to be fair, I've I've always played Fallout with like with like. At most three luck, and like it's fine. Like you'll be fine. It, it, uh, it, it, like, it, mm. max, max luck, max strength, punch everything is the way to go. That's probably and, and endurance because the endurance gives me more. Um, I forget what it's, it's AP, but I forget AP. what it's what, yeah. it's what it stands for. But um, action points. Action points. Is that what it's for? Action points. Yeah, it gives yeah. me an action point, yeah. which is which is, max, which is really useful. You max that third. Yeah, and then because there, there is the there's ability further down the line that allows you to yeah. So there's a, there's an ability further on down the line that allows you to when you go into the AP the AP modes to basically like effectively like it's called bullets, but teleport yourself next to the individual. So I can be like a, a ways away, go to punch them and just be like, there you go, punch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just teleport with that man. Yeah. Well, for weird. So, but what I've got to do, I think. A, I've got to listen to the story because I was trying to talk to Laura at the same time, and so I had no idea what the story was telling me. So I was just like, I have no fucking clue what's going on. But I need to re a great story. I need Restart from the beginning. No, I haven't got that far. So I've literally just done like one or two things. But um, I think I need to go somewhere and then just grind a little bit just to get my yeah get my damage up rather than like progress too far. Um, you got to you got to do the side time I work out, but in Fallout, where you like punch a hundred Cazadors. 
I've got two bags of water on Cyria. That's the that's that's the plan. Um So yeah, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try keeping it. I think maybe every Sunday I'll um uh, every Sunday I'll set aside two to three hours of one punch man. Uh, that'd be cool. And then just slowly in but I'll I'll take more more notes. We do have to finish keep talking though next weekend. Oh yeah, I, I, I said that um I said that we may not do it this weekend. I was I would be up to it, but I think next let's uh next weekend, next Saturday maybe. If I, I don't God knows what's happening with lockdown and all that sort of stuff, but if people are around next Saturday I'd be happy to do um some keep talking. We might need to book in because I'm getting very full of RPGs. I will I will book in a time slot. Yeah. If you've got if you've got a slot, let me know. I'd be interested in joining up. Oh, I'm, we're more than merry, I think, as long as um, uh, because well, to, you, to, you to, don't to, want to, too many. Yeah, to to a degree, to a degree. Well, yeah. We we we, we yeah. can fit we can fit another one or two, I think, because I think we're, no, it, we're we're slightly yeah, up, you know. up against it. We're now into the last. You can always fit another guy or two in, Mark. Yeah. We know that. <laughs> thanks, 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 Pitt. Oh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> No, I saw you guys got pretty far uh, when, when you started playing. I was like, you started really poorly. I was like, these guys are going to fucking, like, barely get anywhere. And you were churning through in the end. Well, Annabelle had never played, so there was, like, an introductory period. And then we, we got, and then we started doing well. And then for some reason, I just couldn't get it together for the wires for, like, a good three runs. And we just died. And then we started actually playing properly. <laughs> I just remember when we were right in the beginning, I'm like, okay, Pip. Wires are this, 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 and this, and there's a silence. I'm like, <laughs> my internet died. Yeah, I was like, Pip? oh god, no. Pip? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I came back and saved the day. You did actually, in all, in all fairness to you, but I was, we're having a panic moment. And like, Doug and his wife were like, uh, I'll, I'll start looking up complex wires then. <laughs> Give me a minute. Uh, Don't mind me, just gonna, just gonna become a bomb expert in the space of a minute. <laughs> But yeah, so the, it, the, the, the beginning it's of nothing it was, like real life. Oh yeah. The, the, oh, I know. The, um, uh, but the the beginning of it was very much like because Pip and I have played this a fair amount. I mean, admittedly, like not together, not, not together, and also like it's been a few years since I last played it. So we we like in we intent like int intentionally played a bit dumb at the beginning to give people the kind of the full experience of having to find through the manual and go for that kind of panic rather than me going okay go on go scroll down to complex wires this is what it is uh is there a buy out yes is there a what out there's a buy yeah currently there is yeah yeah let me see if goes updated i could jump uh, in you could have a chat with russell yeah yeah chat with russell Because I'm not doing anything this evening. Class actually ended on time. Well, roughly on time for a change. Hop, hop into the the pauper lobby and chat with Russell. He's muted. Yeah, I'll message. Hey, we hear you. Yeah. I do like your uh, your image, Pedro. Oh yeah, mm. for round two. Yeah, blue counted it as well. So oh, I haven't I haven't looked at it. Yet. So, so it begins. begins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, so this, I, this, this, I approve. This is the issue of playing fast X, fucking, you have about 200, well, 200 turns to scratch your bollocks. Uh, yeah, if you, if you cast your eyes to table five, you will see that uh, Ewan is playing Balder. I was going to say, with Balder as well, it's just going to be he like. Oh, God, it's going to be a long old game, oh. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Ewan, Ewan, oh, God, yeah, that's going to be. Oh, nice. I don't, I don't know what Ewan's on, but whatever it is, I'm assuming yeah. it, it has the ability to you... grind. Mm. Yeah, that is Ewan's ammo, and Baldur's on fairies, so they can grind. <laughs> oh my god! Fair What's fair. more interesting is that Hugh is still playing against Zach, which makes me suspect that Hugh is also on something grindy. Hugh is not, he's not on aggro. That's unusual. He wasn't on aggro last was week. Forever to close it out. He hasn't been on aggro for a bit. He he's taking a short break, I think, because he wants oh, to play okay. combo, but he doesn't like combo on modo because it's too slow. Yeah, it's a real pain. It's like you, you just gotta. It's not fun to navigate. I'm I'm so annoyed. I try when uh, companion got banned. I went to rejoin a modern league in celebration, 
I was like, oh, play Mardu Shadow. Accidentally submitted an old Storm list. So I'm playing oh, Grave Shot Storm. <laughs> like, um... oh. Let's look at your deck, Mark. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's off on the screen. Yeah. I mean, fairly standard. It's fairly standard. Um... In fact, it is completely stock. It is pretty. Yeah. There's, 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 oh, there's one less forgotten cave. I took that out to put one in to input in one more skew the critic. Yeah, fair. Which seems like a fair old choice. How uh, many lands are you running? Sixteen. Sixteen, yeah. Oh, that's that's one fewer than I am. <laughs> I have five drops in my deck. Yeah, well, I've, I've got I've got four six drops. No, you don't. <laughs> you have you have four two drops. You're both lying now. Stop lying. I'm not lying. I legitimately have six drops. I kind of bet you do. I also I changed out uh, the pillages for molten rains, which is a uh, yeah, they're just better. Yeah. yeah why, why why is pillage ever in? Uh, oh, I've only ever run molten rain. Depends on your meta. If you have like a, if you if you have a huge amount of affinity, and so like, yeah, fine. maybe I could see you playing it, but. Like you already play, you already play Smash to like you know take affinity down a peg. Yeah, I think you're over sideboarding if you're if you're adding that much artifact to it. Like at that point, you can't actually kill them anymore. To be fair, the weirdest mono red build I've ever seen was back when Astrolabe was legal and people were playing four, um, what's it, four Mox Monkey in the sideboard just to beat Astrolabe. <laughs> Jeez. You do mono red do. wasn't good then because mono red prowess was the the best aggro red deck and even that was terrible yeah 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 i've not heard back from russell so that might be hey. I, I guess i guess i might be out, bro. <coughs> I in which case i don't know i'll play some destiny or something um hop, hop into the lobby because uh you can actually d chat directly with him you might not have seen the pop up with the message yeah he's he's not on mute anymore so he must be talking to someone okay we could actually all adjourn there. We probably could, couldn't we? Yeah, we could. Let's go. Okay. Let's 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 go. Whoop. Oh, okay. Hello. We were just wondering. Hello. Hello. Is here? Greetings, humans. <laughs> Have we got a buyout at the moment? Because if there's a space to jump in, I'm happy to. Yeah, yeah we, can, we can add you. Give us a second. So long as it's not inconvenient. No, no. So we had the one buy, so it's fine. So you've got two matches left. Who who do we think will we finish first? Uh I well, Hugh and Sack. Oh, Hugh uh, and Zach. Oh, they're, um, they're okay, wait, wait, wait. They've gone, they're they've gone live. Everyone's Everyone joined the for joining. Okay. I was gonna put myself on mute. <laughs> everyone coming off the watch. <laughs> as, as soon as I start streaming, everybody shows up. Oh, okay. Yes. It's uh, all very interesting what's happening. I have so many questions. I don't want any of them answered. If you're not playing, mute yourself. Let's see if I can. Oh, God. So, so we've currently got Balbo, who appears to be on oh, shit. mono I blue. Never mind. Uh, okay. Uh, oh shit! I forgot to do two things. Who is on... <laughs> Ewan is on his. I can read for a second, can't I? Ewan is on his really interesting. Oh, is he like pass pass? Okay. His his deck We're is basically right based around Orcish Lumberjack, where you tap it and sacrifice a forest to add three mana ah. to any combination <laughs> of red or green. Ah, and this again. Smiley one one. Basically, it's not a very fast clock, but it makes <laughs> playing <laughs> cards difficult. He plays a lot of land destruction in it, which makes it a very interesting match against me. Okay, no, this is blue aggro then. No, it's not blue aggro. It's 
Basically, it's just fairies. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he drew his shroud playing 3 5 5, I believe. Let's see if I can pop this out. Can I pop it out? Let's pop it out. Zoop. Let's scoot you over there. <coughs> See if I can make this an acceptable size for the stream. I have too many cards in my hand now. <laughs> oh no! Who are you? That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, we need to use this. Okay, so Sanctuary mm -hmm. and what is Where he achieves? I, pres yeah. I presume Tragic Lesson. Yep, so he picks up a Tragic Lesson. I'm going to lose because I have 11 minutes. Uh, anyway. You've got uh, cards that. <laughs> and then I'm going to attack with this. Okay, he attacks him with his... With his the clock is very slow, I must say. Okay. Yeah, he's down to 25. Turns the creature to his hand. Plays out Augur Bolas. Okay, what does he reveal? Tragic Lesson. Tragic which Lesson? Is fairly right. obvious. He put that on top of his Mystic oh, Tragic. He got one of... No, he didn't. Yeah, no, he did. Ewan plays out Orcish Lumberjack. Elvis missed it. Leaves it at that. Interesting. Oh wow! If you see what I... <gasps> <laughs> okay. I don't know why I've done that. Did you not return Mr. Tragedy to his hand? Okay, um. Surely he returned this. What? He discarded an island. Huh. Okay, he attacks him. Takes it down to 23. Return Orcus Lumberjack? Yep, returns Orcus Lumberjack. He draws a mouth at the top, replays out Orcish Lumberjack. Yep. Yeah, he discarded a land, Sir Mr. Fun. I don't know why. Why didn't he pick up the Mystic Sanctuary instead? That's why I don't understand. Does he not want to discard to hand size? Oh, is it the way you're playing? Okay. Um, yeah, sure. But I suppose it's. He just he loses value. If he's going to start an island anyway, why not pick up the Mystic Sanctuary and play it back out to get the Tragic Lesson? Yeah, yeah but either either way, if he has if he has too many lands in hand, my God, how can, how can I he, win he like can, that? He can still discard. Oh, he misclicked. My my clock is basically vapor stank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry guys, time in the round. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, okay. um, Turn zero. Okay, um, let me take this. I mean, I don't see how I can win this, unless I have like a super Delver right now, and then... But still, you may... Mm -hmm. Theoretically, I can probably win, but I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah. I'm quite interested to see what the hell he's going to draw. I, uh, Turn one. Yeah, yep. I think if he had kept the tragic lesson, he may have, he may have been able to draw. But my clock is faster than yours, just for you to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of draws to find something. Nope. Yeah, I was hoping you'd be in like autopilot clicking yes to my spells. Like, well, we've just been playing the same three three little chunguses for the last three turns in a row. 
Yeah. If it was, uh, if we just it weren't at time, then I would have kept that to try and overload you a bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I don't think this is gonna do anything at all. You can draw some more cards. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, in one turn, I don't think I can. No, if you did it turn one or turn two? This is turn two. Okay, three, four, five. I have two turns, right? This turn and one more. <laughs> so you, you have two you have two turns to do uh, twenty can damage. Can can you win? I have to count. I can't I can't win, no. Do you want to like, draw? Oh I guess I I guess I have two what? counter spell in my hand. Okay, I can't win then. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'll I'll show, how can I show you my hand? Uh, only after the game's over, but I believe okay. it. Uh, so how do we do then? Uh, I'll concede. Okay. And then it's a draw and you can and show then, me your hand uh, if you want. Yeah. Reveal hand, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, fine. Like the okay. only way I could have won would be like Rolling thunder, rolling thunder, and I might have boarded them both out. Because of weather storm. <laughs> because of that card. All right. For you to know, that's a card that should be banned from any format. <laughs> Which card? Weather storm. <laughs> Uh, I feel recalling for Weatherstorm to get banned. Oof. But Baldo, I, I feel for you, man. I faced against him not too long ago, and he weathered the storm so many times. <laughs> I played with one one. You know, like my beaters are one toughness and one in attack. Like I cannot beat that weather the storm. Like there is nothing I can do. You play. play you should play the hemorons. There is not even a style for hemorons. three manas that I can play sideboards. <laughs> hey, you play some errant ephemerons. You can counter four times. Yeah. <laughs> no, because it would be on top. It's a storm. Like, well, if no, you do it on response, you, you can. You let the storm okay. trigger resolve, and then you counter each copy. No. Yeah. <laughs> it would be very bad. But yeah. you, just, you, just, you just save up, like, you know, five counter spells and counter every copy. That's Horrible. great magic. Are there any <laughs> elegant ways to counter copies of spells in... No, there's no, there's no, there are, there's no there storm counter. There aren't any effects in Pauper that I know of, and there aren't any, there's no, like, fluster storm as effect. So... Mm -hmm. What was that new fluster storm they printed in Theros that then literally oh, never saw... Denial. Yes. Never saw yeah. anything. That was, that was a rare, right? I, I play that it's in Gladiator. Yeah. It's not a rare, uncommon. Uncommon. Yeah, yeah I, think I'm, right. I think I'm gonna play green in Delver just to play with the storm somehow. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to the old, the old days of Astrolabe days. <laughs> so, bring it, bring uh, it back. Don't bring it back. Oh, bring it back. Uh, are you giving the result to uh, Ian or...? I've done it, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. It's in. okay. All right. Oh, back to lobby. Back to yeah. the lobby. Right. And we're back. Oh. Baldo twice in three weeks and we'll get completed match. Yeah. We'll get there. Ooh. We should introduce more red. <laughs> hey, can I say that I still think that Mono Blue Dalbar is much stronger than uh, Scred Dalbar or mm. even uh, Black Blue Dalbar? Controversial statements. It's, it's controversial <laughs> looking at looking at, to, at to, to, tournament results, but I, I, well, I, think it, I think it's how you play it. Honestly, I think the fact that Delver, Blue Delver has a super strong mana and he gets to play four spike, which I think is a fantastic card. You do fun four spike. It's it's if you're, you know, if you're worried, single counter, uh, Baldor, if you're worried about um, winning fast enough, I've posted a picture in general chat of a card you might like. Ephemeron's just terrible del- Oh, buddy. Hello. I thought we usually usually wait so much later on to, <laughs> to play. I don't have my, 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 my hopes crushed just yet. <laughs> right. Right, do I win the die roll? Then? You do. Fuck yes, I will play fair. Uh, sure. Whoop. Uh, I, I guess that's how you're gonna play, is it? Don't you turn out to be soul sisters? <laughs> oh, I'm just. 
gonna be playing some sort of live game, of course. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's just why I saw him like, oh no. <laughs> Let's get that down nice and early, don't we? Take one, negates that land. Only the one. It's quite an annoying one, but there we go. Oh, for fuck's Indeed. sake. <laughs> It's fine, two more turns. Two more two more turns and then you undo that and then yeah. Oh, it's so painful. <laughs> Her to be taking another one. Taken. It turns off any hasty dudes, which is quite nice. I was going to say, don't care. I was like, oh no, I do care actually. <laughs> cool. One. This is such a bad matchup. <laughs> Turned out to be relevant. Two for one, dear. Despite the fact that your lands have negated any kind of turn that I have done so far. Indeed. And they just keep coming. Oh. <laughs> Every single land. No! <laughs> I can't even deal with that fucking thing. Cool, 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 cool. Right. Yeah, good luck uh, using any of your searing blazes. Yeah. A second one. Okay, that's a little bit more annoying. I mean, that's like a whole radiant fountain. Okay, so this is a really, really painful matchup here. Can't attack into the Guardian. Oh, God. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Attacks into two. That happens. I can't stop that. Annoyingly, this is, I think, a race you currently win. Uh, well, I don't know. Depends. It seems. I'm going to lose it next turn anyway, so let's get in with a bit of extra damage. A whole extra point of damage. So, Hessence is pretty dead for him, but this Searing Blaze is like a dead card for us because we just can't hit. Uh, 
to spend this. Okay, so he's actually pretty close to dead. So he goes down to five here. And then on my turn he goes to two. And I think I will. Nah, that's good enough. I did not see that happening, I'll be honest. But uh, two um, curses is pretty hard to beat. Two curses is pretty, is pretty painful. The question is what I'm bringing against him. The Searing Blazes aren't all that great. He has the fucking crow monocolored thing, which is a pain. He has a ton of removals. The Keldon removal is not that great. I, mean, I could bring Molten Rains. That seems a bit shit. More against Tron. Let's bring in some number of Kelvin removals. At least take some damage for the thing. Let's bring Kelvin Rollers over Searing Blazes. Uh, that could be wrong. Because he has all the removals, but I think he may take some some number of some number of removal out. Because I'm playing Vern. Maybe. Right. Sad cave in part of town. Okay. Sent to you an enchantment. Seems fair. It's very fair. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's pretty fair. Take an additional one. So if we if we draw lands, uh, I'll play out Fair Mouth and suspend the Rift Bolt. Okay, so that's kind of fine. Well, it's not fine, but it's fine. Okie dokie, dokie dokie, dokie dokie. Ah, you didn't miss Wreck the Buff. It was tempting, it was very close to doing so. <laughs> okay, so we currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got 14. We've got 14 damage, which is pretty close to him being dead. I'm 
second burn spell and we're pretty much gutting here. Oh, there goes last fight. All oh, five lost. Yeah. Sure you don't want to go in for two for pure guardian? I'm sure. Ah, I see you've played this game before. Mm -hmm. Aha, I did not misclick on that one. I've done that many times before. <laughs> Get one. Get one again. Okay, that's fine. You're allowed to play Radiant Fountain if you if you follow up with a really bonus. That seems yeah, pretty fair. I'll allow, I'll allow that. I, mean, I don't want you drawing too many cards, but oh, rude. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we have him pretty dead here. I think we have him dead at least anyway. So that's one down to seven. This takes him then down to two. And then he's dead on his upkeep. Okay, so let's. Yeah, I have a feeling this is still going to be yours. Um, ah. yeah, see, see what comes with the clock. Uh, it's kind of hard to miss though. Even then, I'm dead on our keep because it can gain. Actually, no, wait. Gain one up to three. And then. Take two. I guess maybe I get one turn. Yeah. I'm just dead on my upkeep though, that's the issue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I can't, I can't get any life. Oh, it's damned per uh, curses. They're like so often in the, when I play against them, they're the worst card in the mono red deck. Yeah. But yeah, in, against like a slow deck, they just add up so quick. Yeah, the, the, the double curses. It's pretty brutal. I kept the hand because it had the double curse in it. 
Yeah, uh, next clip. Yes. GG, nah, GG anyway. GG. Maybe that, is that the secret to beating you? Just go really quickly and not like Dirtle was trying to take away your round? Probably. Probably? Uh, right. Yeah, imagine it would be. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, boys? You alright? Yeah, doing pretty good. Um, was a bit ill like over the weekend, but otherwise all better now. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yourself? Yeah. <laughs> all good, good. All fine. Yeah, well <laughs> that. But, awesome. Yeah. Cool, buddy. All right. Just for the games. Good games, man. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Right. Sweet. So we are two and O oh with burn. Oop. Done. That's none too bad. That's none too bad at all. Let's see if. Let's see if. Uh, would you like to stream with game nine or tip? We finished so fucking early that we ain't got much to do now. I can see my message. Who else is playing? You didn't untap your two lands for some reason. Yeah, sometimes it happens, unfortunately. I don't know why. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's because once you've chosen the target and it resolves, it then has another pause to ask you to choose two lands to untap. If you click OK, it will just skip that step. Right, I see. That's very annoying. Because I needed those two lands untapped. Is that cut an opportunity fun enough? Hey, mm. buddy. <laughs> Everyone's coming in table one to the lobby, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, it's, it's, you guys actually play? I thought it was a lobby. Fuck. <laughs> I know, we keep seeing this one. <laughs> you guys are still playing, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Sorry, man. <laughs> does does, does any of you want to quit game stream on? Because I, 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 burnt, I burnt Zach out pretty quickly. Uh, uh, I can do. Give me a second. Yeah, uh, my uh, my internet is very a bit uh, rubbish at the moment. So. Where do we do? Where do we do it from? Uh, you can just do it on share your screen. In in Midgo or on uh on uh Discord. <laughs> or I can or, or I can watch. Okay, actually, I can, I can. Oh, I can. This is interesting. I've got like now two two to three people who are going to stream, and I can. Jump in between, like a, <laughs> like, a like a little pauper pauper pixie. Thanks, Russell. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on to uh, on to mute. Enjoy. No worries. Okay. okay, let's see what's going on here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's pop this out. So. Seventy-three-three. Is he? Maybe. Maybe he's a three-three. We have here what looks to be. Russell, Ooh, let's mute that. Can I mute this? Fuck, there we go. Okay, so it looks like here we have. We have. Sun Brew, which I'm, I'm not quite sure what that is, but he's got a fucking almighty bushwag against Stefano's white affinity. Gotta get, that, gotta get that one list. health back. Damn. <laughs> Which is interesting. Cannot do it anything with the left back. <laughs> okay, so what can we do? I think we can do this. Uh, 
Okay, so his is 1-1, one, one, but gets flying and plus 2 plus 2 if you have Metalcraft, which is if you have 3 or more artifacts, which is pretty strong. Jesus, so he's just played for 3 mana, 2 three threes, one of which has flying. That is pretty strong. I don't know quite what Russell does to this. Ah. Secret attack. No, this is nonsense. It's not nonsense. It's very sense. <laughs> okay, that's pretty interesting. Sorry. Huh? Uh, oh, I. <laughs> That's gonna be a problem. Catastrophical size. Okay, fair enough. It's gonna throw me down. Fine. Oh, my favorite friend. Mm, he's such a good boy. He is. Better than turn one, but still. Yeah, of course. Got no lands on this turn. Yeah, that's why I say it's better than two. Oh, is... But you do have... Oh, you don't have... You're, tap... You're tapped out. Interesting. <laughs> uh, is the only 3-3 three, three flying... <laughs> is that all? Like, does he have anything else that I'm not reading it? Uh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fly. Oh, I think he's only flying. Okay, I'm gonna regret it later. <laughs> okay, so Russell Shaw is not trading. So he did trade the model. Oh, but I like, is it something I'm not reading? <laughs> okay, that's okay, really uh, interesting. Why would he trade them off? All right, so let's do this. That I don't quite get. Do I have bloody pigeon? It's not pigeon. <laughs> it's literally he it says it's not pigeon. No, it's a two-two. Okay, it's a it's a it's a seagull. It's a seagull. Yeah. It's just as annoying. Yeah. Potato, potato. <laughs> hmm. Good grief. I still don't understand. I still don't understand why Russell traded off the 3-3 three, three life linker. Why didn't he hold mm -hmm. it? Why didn't he hold it back a turn when he got that stupid artifact, don't you? Vines. You what? Ah. You've got that damn artifact, don't you? No, 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 you're dark enough. Well, <laughs> you should totally block. <laughs> Three, six, eight. Oh, Jesus. Another one of them. Fuck. Oh, because he bounced it back to the healer. The the squad. The law hawk. Glint hawk. Great burn this. Surprise! Puts a flare husk on the, on the flying 2-2, two, two, so it's now 3-3. Three, three. Hmm. Where's his ethereal armor? So he can block and kill something. Why did he trade off his... His healer hawk? 3-4, that is... Bigger than I expected to be. I mean, 3 four's pretty and good. Chew on but... top green. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder why. What on earth could that be? Not enough though. Mm, a land? It must be. It must be a land. I don't understand. Ooh, the our saviour. <laughs> okay. 
crazy. Back so to you gadget. Get, so you get to a they clue us to be something really good <laughs> because. Okay, How's let's let's see it. Let's see it. Give me a clue. Okay, this is not too bad. Okay. Another glint hawk. Mm, another seagull. See, I think is you want to block that one. Let's you say, know that another one is going to take his place. So, <laughs> in response, give the other glint hawk plus one plus O. Oh. No, he didn't type in response. Why didn't right. he type in response? Or the seagull. So he blocks there. He knows he's not. He's, he knows he's not untapping with that thing. There and there. So Rafa just loses his board. On. Um. Lame. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, I see what you're doing, but it's, it's okay. That's fine. So then Russell's just dead next turn. High five. Hmm. Okay. We'll get this one. Alright, let's give it to this one then. Why not? You're killing my. Sloth, well, it? you are killing my lovely gentleman <laughs> over there. So I think it's the least I can do. <laughs> Fresh have questions over the lion's taste in this game. I have serious I'm dropping things. Oh dear! Can you give me a land. Oh, it's got first strike, hasn't it? Of course. <laughs> that's done. Yes, of course it's got first strike. So that's 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 fine. Okay, that's that's, that's my bad on that. Yeah. Two flying blockers, I can only block one, so I take definitely one in the air. I can only one block on the one on the ground, so I take three exactly. Oh dear. So intrigued about him getting. Oh, I see. Rage. I like it. You're down swinging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going down, but I'm going down my way. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna block. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was like, I I don't yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Only mid go in their first strike damage and nonsense. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. It's like a flower husk. Put it on this guy that you play is actually better than I would ever picture. Uh, which one? The flying, uh, the reduce aura is actually really good in your deck. Mm. He just makes um ancestral mask so much easier to play. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I wonder if uh, do they play? Do they, they don't play anywhere, not even in Bogo. Which one? The uh, that one of your flyer, um, yeah, the flyer. No, I, I haven't seen him only in this homebrew. But it's a one two. It's actually for two money. It's not bad. Even because an artifact himself, sorry, an enchanter himself. So you play two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The other one is only. Oh, I like it. No, it would not reduce the cost because it's only aura reduce the cost. Yeah, no, it reduces the cost of auras, so Ancestral Mask, instead of costing two... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, know, I know, but I was wondering if it reduced the cost of enchantment. Oh, no, no. Anyway, good game. No worries, thanks for that. No worry. GG. Thank you. Stefano, question. Yes? I know like, you may not need to be like super efficient.
but like when you play your glint hawk can you not just tap your enchantment your equipment to give something plus one plus oh and then bounce back to your hands then replay it and give another plus one plus oh yeah, yeah of course i can but i i utterly wanted to play the other one for free the glint hawk and that um and that uh, and that guy really go well together but at that point to be fair i need that more as um, equipment than anything. All right. Uh, but yeah, you can do that. It's actually really good. So the one one becomes a one one blocker. I think it's a really cool deck. I like it. He is in this deck. I I played the, uh, today at lunch break because I wanted to see if it was working, and I play against um, hey, uh, Bor not Boros. Sorry, what's the name? Is um, Scredelva. And I want yeah, yeah. two game, two game in turn three. Jesus. This guy must be fuming, yeah, because he just really pretty much. <laughs> you can play your hand in really quickly against your deck if you play burn, because I assume you play burn. I have no chance. Uh, like uh, unless you really whiff all the time, I have no. I, I don't have any life gaining. Like I, I, if in fact I play you, I already know I'm gonna lose. But. That. Oh, well, I have to be—I have to be very lucky. But uh, I, I think it's fun to play. I really enjoy it because he's—he's uh, 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 he's like Stompy, but he's quicker than Stompy. Stranger. I mean, turn three kills is—I mean, Porpoise weirdly filled off way more turn three kills than people would like to know about. But yeah, yeah, he, he can play only your end in turn two or three, happen more than more than times I can count. Hmm. But also your music. Land, so if uh, he's very lucky that I only play one land for the whole game, and it's still fine, but can be quite tough. Mm. And if you go in the main lobby, yeah, there's cool. a lot of a lot of uh, three threes for one, which is a bit scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Russ, you uh, were you playing uh, like just a homebrew with more like kind of like a uh, green white auras by the looks of it. Yeah, green white auras. Flying enchantments with the bushwag, which is actually quite probably quite good. On the I love that. Guy. It He's gets, amazing. I mean, at its base, it's not great, but it has trample. So if you're whacking yeah. your auras on it, it's just going to get better. And then exactly. late game, if you're getting flooded out, you can just keep on pumping it. Yeah, and it's quite a relevantly big pump as well. Oh god, yeah, plus three, plus three is pretty good. Yeah, it protects you from. I want to. I want to put him in a um, mono green Tron build and also in a in a. Um... Oh my god, the yes. Green, green ramp deck, or the wall ramp deck. Ooh. Well, okay, Tron, but your finisher isn't, your finisher isn't Muldrish Chess, your finisher isn't Ulamog, your finisher is a Brushwag. Yes. That should be the cool. I'll be, I'll be around for that. <laughs> mm. I need to put it together. Nice, nice, nice. Um, who else are you waiting on? Um, um, before, I'm waiting on Pedro and Hugh and Philip versus Beldo. So Philip and Baldo, that's going to be a control lead matchup. It's going to take a while. Hugh must really be yeah. on control then today. Uh, Hugh and Pedro, I'm not sure. Pedro, Pe I'm not sure what I want to actually. Pedro's on elves, but I can't, elves, I, can't, yeah. I can't imagine that like elves versus the mono red stomp, the mono red uh, blitz is is a long a long game. Oh, that should, yeah, that that should be a great one because mm. they'll turn the corner and bam, swing in dead. Yeah, so I think Hugh's on com on a combo or control. Mm. Hmm. Always makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see if I can get Pip to stream his thing. Cool. I can, I can play it away. Cool. Uh, that's, thanks for playing the game, man. No worries. Cheers. Let's see if we can get Pip to. Stream. Question mark. How are you doing, Tay? How's it going? Let's see if I can get Pip. Where's Pip? Where's it? I'm just sliding in my dinner of uh, roasted vegetables and mozzarella bap from work. Being an adult, that's ah, fucking overrated. Wow. 
Does that scare you? Like, I'd be quite slightly scared. I agree. I'm finding it really fucking tough as well, man. Like, I'm just not. It's just really, it's really depressing, actually. It becomes really hard. From, I can watch my brother-in-law, who used to be a uh, Commonwealth athlete. When he had kids, he found it really hard to find the time to do it. Like, really hard. Um... But eventually, you do start to find the time. Um, they also, um, they also did, did hand off the the little kids to my parents every now and then, so they could do some exercise and get some stuff done, um, which did help a lot. it's hard you basically have to find you basically have to become super organized with your time like super organized uh, and it's hard man but maybe it could be really maybe it could be a good thing maybe you am uh, maybe you just become super organized as a result of all of it No, I agree, but unfortunately, that it takes a few years before the, before you can kind of do the sports with the kids. Unfortunately, like I would love that. I would love to have a kid that I can like go running with or actually like compete in something with. I think that'd be amazing and great. I would love it, but it does take time before they get to that stage. Especially if you end up with one like uh, my niece Darcy, who does not have the sporting gene on her. Well, she does now actually. She's a lot better. But when she was a little kid, she didn't quite get the competitiveness. Now she's now she's a lot better, a lot lot better. But the positive, the positive side of things, I have burnt out two opponents quite successfully. And have I dropped a game yet? I have not not dropped a game. I've burnt out pestilence. And I've burnt out elves. Elves are almost fucked up, but I've still burnt them out. And I and I had the god read off the top where it was like, if I draw this off, if I draw fire blast off the top, then he's dead. And I drew fire blast off the top. Burn can be the one. Burn can also not uh, severely not be the one against some decks. So a lot of decks that can just gain an awful lot of life. Uh, like if I have to play against Ewan, he plays he plays like two or three Weather Storms in the main deck. Um, and Weather Storm is um, green and one um, gain three life, but with Storm. So you just play several uh, several spells, play that, and they gain a whole bunch of life. So if I go burn spell, burn spell, and then he plays Weatherstorm, then he gains nine life, which just like ain't coming back from that. So yeah, I'll be in the hearts of cards, of course I will. I gotta keep this one going, but hopefully I don't have to play Ewan. Ewan would not be a great matchup. Ah, oh, Pip's back from his game. Hey Pip. Hey hey. How did it go? Uh Lost game one, grinded out game two, and then Mulligan no lander into no lander into one lander, kept it, and never drew a second land. Wow. It's a shitty way to lose game three. Mm. So That's bad. Uh, it happens. Yeah, it's a bit shit, sorry, man. I mean, in fairness, Baldor also had only two lands, but he had two lands with three snaps and a couple 
of spell slotter sprites, which was enough. Yeah, I mean, two left with like a couple of the best cards in the deck, then yeah, that's gonna that's gonna carry it through. <laughs> yeah, also the blue fairy deck can live on two lands. This is true. You can still get down your ninjas. You can still get down all of your counter spells. He put himself dead to top deck land quite a lot, though. I was surprised. Really? Yeah. Because mm. he 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 like uncharacteristically for him, he he tapped out on his turn like fairly frequently, and I had a tireless tribe, and he kept swinging with everything and leaving no blockers back. So I was just like, if I untap and draw an island, I can inside out and kill you. That's very unlike Baldo. Whenever I face Baldo, he plays Island and says, "Go." Like, yeah. Cool, I'll get four I think he might have been. I think he might have been a little tilted off from the last game with the Winter of the Storms. It might also have been because he didn't. He wasn't sure what I was on because in game one I went pass, pass, pass for like the first seven turns of the game, so he thought I was on control. And then game two, I beat him with Seeker of the Ways only, so he thought I must have been on some kind of Seeker control. Ah, uh, okay, right, yeah. If he might have just had the wrong read. Yeah. But then playing turn one Trials Tribe in game three should have tipped him off, but apparently not. So who is worried about Chandra's incinerator? Uh, what does it do? The, 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 that 6-6 six, six fucker. The 6-6 six, six for 6, but 6-6 six, six for 1. Oh my god. I'm not worried oh about it, because god. it's not relevant to me. It's not relevant, it won't it's not do relevant anything. to your deck, I must admit. Yeah, my deck's well set up to beat it already. I mean, to be fair, like, uh, definitely, you know, Black White Eldrazi and Taxa has a fine matchup with Burn. It probably wouldn't be too much of a concern for me. I just, like, you know, I already play four paths, and that's all I'm really going to be able to have to answer it. Uh, and I can do uh, cross eyes and shenanigans too. Goblins is maybe going to have a problem with that. Goblins is, it will have a tough time. And Pioneer, I don't know what the fuck Pioneer is going to look like when M21 drops. It's quite, Mainly there's so many damn... it's quite hmm? a strong core set. Well, so far, right? We, we, we're, we're seeing, remember, we're still seeing very little of the set on the whole. Yes. And, and like, you know, M19 had some, some real big hits in it, uh, but most of the cards were duds. And that's why it was such a poorly open set. This is definitely looking... I don't want to compare this too much to M19. This is certainly going to be better than M19. We are already seeing more good cards in the set than in M19. Oh, yeah. But There's a, I just a lot of good shit in the set. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I just want to hold off and say that it's not it's immediately just, like, actually, whoa, yeah. this is insane. This is just like, this is good. This is where we should be. Totally more importantly, now. there's lots of really good creatures with lots and lots of keywords, which, you know, might be relevant for some decks. Mm. Oh, that can I get... That can get... <laughs> Do you put Baneslayer Angel into it? Well, may that's what I'm thinking of, maybe. That, like, that's, that's just all of them in one creature. Like, I'm running... I'm currently running um, to Hushbringer for Flying Lifelink, but mainly as, you know, answers to um, Inverter. But Inverter isn't much of a deck, so... Yeah, so like it depends on where like it's not much of a, a the deck cat the in paper and dark sphere, but online the cat the mean. cat dog command. Oh yeah, but like awesome. the, I do like you have to have the, the two commander. separate methods. You have the online meta, and then you have your local okay. game. Would you yeah, 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 would fine, you fine. adjust if, if, if you mean for, for your dark current meta, I think that's, that's cat very deck reasonable. to incorporate yeah. it? And it's also a much more castable like big your dead game ending threat than Zatalpa, <laughs> which is kind of nice. Yeah, well, I mean, you obviously you still play as a Talpa, but it's yeah, I mean, but like, it makes your would... plan B better. So would yeah, you, your plan, would your you plan B, for... and your plan B is already pretty good, to be would honest. Exactly. <laughs> Take out the Kuranos and the two Hushbringers, and bring in like two Banes their Angels, and maybe that green Reach Trample five drop. It, it really uh... distresses me that that five drop is like people are saying that five drop isn't good enough. It really distracts me. What the green one? Well, it's yeah, oh, not but... really good enough for modern or legacy, no, and no one legacy. really cares about pioneer. And people it's my are talking not... about this thing in standard. Like that's the point we're at. People are saying no. this isn't constructed playable. Yeah, I. But they might be right. They might be. That's what. That's what scares me. 
it like, is, it is an absurd bugger. five drop. You think about because I the, the the thing that makes it absurd for me is I didn't realize it's also when it blocks. That's that was it for me too because it's yeah, see, but I who's feel, blocking it? Anything that's gonna hit the board is very valid, right? If that was only an attack trigger, I'd say cool, all the way back around to you for do anything. Whereas who's, right now with the block trigger, Stonewall who's blocking in standard though? Seriously, well, serious question. Well, who's blocking well, in standard? Well, when you play this, then they can't just attack into it, can they? Yeah, but they like. It's the top end for a deck, right? Because it doesn't it's not good against the control decks, they don't care. So it, you play it to beat the aggro decks, and it's a five drop against the aggro decks, the aggro decks don't care. Well in, also... in, but in all fairness, hitting five is not particularly difficult in current standards. Yeah. There's shitloads of ramp in standard. Yeah, right the, like, the ramp it. is the ramp is what's gonna make this good rather than the card itself. Yes, but that's but you have to, you have to take the, the whole environment into account when when evaluating the card. So it's not. No, I'm, I'm... It's not silly to say that you'd be getting this out on turn three. Uh, it is. I think not possible to get out on turn three. It is. Gilded it is. goose on one. Any any two or three mana ramp on turn two. Bam! You've got it out on turn three. Gilded yeah. goose is rotating out. No, it's not. Gilded no, goose. Oh not. wait, no, Gilded it's not. Oh, it's very very much the thing. You are you are correct. Yes, you can play it on turn three. Yes. Yeah, but like this, uh, this it's turn round. Speaking of turn three plays, Mark. Uh. At some point, when I open an Azusa, I will give you back your Azusa. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dan. <laughs> oh, uh, whilst whilst yeah. on the subject, when, when, when we get um, uh, Fetchland reprints, uh, I will, I will, I will get some Misties, <laughs> and I'll give you back your Misties. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> One of these things is more likely than the other. I'll do, if they do, I there will be. They promised. They but they promised. But they promised. Here comes Secret Layer. Secret Layer. Fuck you. Edition number two. I honestly I am looking, so dumb I'm looking for I actually I didn't I didn't order the particulars this time around. I didn't order any of them. Mostly I'm because, so done with them. Mostly because I I really liked the like the quality the shit. The quality, it's, it's my it's the gods. I pulled the gods out of my hard binder, de sleeved them, and they're fucking curved. They're double yeah. they are in they're double sleeved the in the binder. The women's day ones are horrific as well. Oh yeah, the wins way. Mm -hmm. It's just the quality is just really bad, and I think I'll only get a secret layer if like they have cards that I don't own but I really want, or cards that I really love. Like if they do a secret layer with like the most hated cards of Magic, and they do like they they print like Seb's Stasis and Armageddon, or like, if they, if, I'll, I will I will buy that shit. I don't mind, but fuck my, I'm, I'm not gonna be f shelling out a whole bunch of money to get something that I'm gonna have to pay. Royal Mail an extra twenty five quid to pick up for some fucking reason, and and just have it curled on curled in a in a deck like even the from the vault printings right and I had a, I've got a, a fair few from the vaults okay so I've got I've got a couple of the lore because dark decks and and I had the from, from the vault annihilation as well like they. Uh, oh wait, one second. Oh, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. In so in chat, uh, all hounds have now been errated to dogs. So any when, you, when, it, comes, when, it, when it comes to that cat dog commander, anything in the past that was a hound is now a dog. All yeah. hounds are dogs. All hounds are dogs. There's there's now dogs and wolves, but no hounds. Are wolves different to dogs? Wolves yes. are a separate creature type. Bojo is a wolf. Wolves are a separate tribe with their own lords that is already supported. That's fine. Yeah. I, I can accept that. I would, I would like it if there's a dog commander to say dogs and wolves, but there there will be at some point. Probably. Doggo tribal. Yeah. There'll be there'll be like a there'll be a K nines unite. Um, will be the name for one of the commander products, you know, and it'll be green green black green black white dogs. Yeah. Abs and like dogs. Dogs. Yes, please. Yeah, Ab Abzan dogs and wolves. This one, this, this one, they're going to do Abs and dogs, and it's just going to be like a well. If you play, if you want to play dogs, then you might as well do this commander. It's like it's like Najila. Najila is like if you're playing warriors, then. Sorry, gents. Round three's up. Oh, -ho. Yeah, yeah. Jump in. Mark, the answer is play a tog. -a -tog. <laughs> Who have I got? <laughs> Who have I got? Stefano. Yeah. I'll say the same things. as a Mark or God. Stefano. Hello, oh, hello, hello, hello. Leave hello. me alone. Don't kill my creature. Don't burn. Don't, <laughs> look, you, 
You say don't burn you. I just watched you play a game where you played two three threes for two mana, one of which had flying. So don't, yeah, don't... well, it's not that you don't have when it's the answer. <laughs> three threes. Yeah, potentially I... they don't answer you. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't want to be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send you a, a thing. Why can I cannot see you? Maybe I'm. I'm hiding. Maybe you haven't added me as a friend. Maybe I blocked you. Maybe makes sense. Just learn not sending you the lands. Right. Round. Oh yeah, I saw you. Four. Yeah, yeah, I saw you. I saw you. Uh, what is it? I like that we keep one burner rotating in every week. <laughs> hey, I beat Zach with it, man. What is playing? Pestilence, white black pestilence. He gained so much yeah, life in game yeah. one, but I had the double uh, curse of the pierced hearts. And that, oh, that, I love that card. That, no. that card is four copy, it's a must. Yeah. No, definitely first, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a little bit slow, but you know, you have to, you have to, these will have to do it. Well, I unfortunately do need to have a land, so I'm going to mulligan this one. No, you don't, be. Honestly, you don't. Whoever told you that you need land that will burn, it was lying. Oh, we're gonna keep this, and I'm gonna. Oh, do I send the mountain to the bottom? Oh, I send. Like a lava I actually spike. build the best land deck. The white. Uh, Let's send white a lava spike to the bottom. I just don't feel it. You don't like the white black pestilence? It's. It's alright, it's not my favorite, it's just a really like a bit boring to play. Hey Lion Rose, am I aware of who you are? I feel like I should know who you are. Ah, uh, Inspector Gadget has arrived. Mm, maybe. With his, with his artifacts and his drawing of cards. I used to wait to this guy, but now I play a little bit. It's a 1-2 that is really good defender. How do I get, get burned? You, oh, you, you can get burned next time. Well, that's fine. No, I, I think it's fine. Thank you. <laughs> nice like that. Okay, what bullshit's coming out? <laughs> Why do you even play? <laughs> 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 Let me play at least, and then you can tell me. Yeah, now you can tell me. Oh. You don't want to kill those one ones with that 3 3 damage. Nah. You do, trust me. Nah. <laughs> hey, it's actually what are you winning burn? You kill creature, that is how you win. Mm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Hold. Oh, we'll put a pin in that. We'll put a pin on using my, using my burn. On your Rith fucking you know, Rift Ball is actually the most annoying one to play MTGO because so many click. Oh, oh, two mana. Oh, only one. Yeah, here we go. That is painful. Okay, okay, so if, we if we hit a land, then I'll play the curse. Uh, the, the, the curse. If not, I think we just right, max out the do... Burn Alchemist. I think this is the best play at the moment. That that might be getting the burn spell. I have a feeling that this card might might get blocked. That I think of uh, just oh, really? Yeah, I mean <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> that, was, that, that was that, that, that was a slight misclick. <laughs> Only like what? I was like, yeah, that's perfectly fine by me. Oh, it's online, that is a problem. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Four card in hands, three damage. Mm. 
Then I've stopped already. Though. Why has you been trouble? Yeah, I thought I'd probably get out now just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I do play red on this deck, but not that many, fortunately. If I have double red, I would be very surprised. I mean, I'll be honest. I have won. I, when I was playing my old days of playing Rainbow Tron, I did actually beat Burn when they were on three life and I was on three. He, and I was on. What was I on? He was on three life. I was on more than that. And he uh, chain lightning me, so I just went. I just tapped my mana rocks. I was like, cool, red, red, kill you. And he's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, sometimes people forget about that one, and I do. Yeah. Your board's getting quite big. Well, you can kill it if you want. I won't take it personally. I mean, I'm taking this quite personally. <laughs> Don't take it personally. I mean, uh, you have three cards in hand, potentially I'm dead. Four card in hands with that guy, potentially I'm dead. Pity four. Pity three. Pity snow. <laughs> Yeah, no, dude, it's very hard because um, okay. it's really, really hard for me to beat this. Time. Okay, but that being You're... that being said, next turn you were attacking oh, one, two, three, yeah. four, five, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. You you had twelve attacking. I mean, I was waiting for a red mana. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus, man! Yeah, yeah. You, if I hadn't had it that turn, you like I was. I know, dead. I know. You're right. You're right. You're right. But it just really like. Uh, it's, it's very conditional for me to win against that deck. Your deck is faster uh, than mine. I mean, don't get me wrong, everything can happen, you know. The game is fair for everybody. Oh, I don't even know what to put in here. What, do we have anything protection from red? No, no. I've got some idea. I don't. Right, so... Oh, you can... I don't know, what do you play in red? Smash the but I don't know if you have that as a same in, so I'm, uh... You could have a really strong card inside. I'm on mute, so he can't hear me, so don't worry about that. So, Smash the Rings is coming in. I have a oh, tempt to bring in these, just... these Kelden Marauders, but I'm not the one taking out for them. Searing Blaze is, is pretty good. Needle Drop's good. I may... I think the Lava Runners just don't get through his stuff, but the Marauders will. I think we swap those over. That could be wrong. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go with that. And oh fuck! I need to actually cut something for the smash the rings. Maybe. Oh, very risky. I think I'm fucking it up and removing too many good stuff. I think maybe the curse but, you know, is too you know, I slow. I have to be quicker than you, hopefully. Let's drop a couple curses. Up a Kelden. Will you play the first game with? Sorry, say that again. Will you play the first game with? Sorry, yeah, I've um, I would not take Marauder in. They are our best in matches when we don't have creatures. Them. Yeah, no, you're right there. Okay, I fucked up on that sideboarding. Okay, so point of note, I'm playing this deck for the second time. Um, oh, you playing it at the full cost? Might be fun. This hand does not. Yeah. No, you're right. Now I think about it, you're really right. Um, my kind of thing is because their creatures can be pretty fucking scary. I'm just kind of wanting to have the chump block. But I suppose you're right on that. Actually, this hand is really unexciting. But the two needle drops are not terrible for Thermal Alchemy. This is a really slow hand. Fuck. Yeah, sorry, wait, I'm 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 thinking over. Oh, okay, fair enough. Sorry. Mm, I don't know sometimes if I'm disconnected or if I'm waiting for somebody. I like Kuma. I'll take Kuma any time. Yeah, it's not a great hand. I'm not particularly excited. Okay, 
Let me see which is this one. What? Maybe I want to burn you instant speed. I don't know if I believe you. Apparently I cannot count. <laughs> I mean, you cannot have six land in your hand, let's face it. <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> I really doubt you would keep an ender with six land. Did you move even one time? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, you did move even to six. I'm going to chain lightning him and need to rock. I think the Syrian Blaze is probably better spent on one of the 3-3s. Three I've still got another mountain, so I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. I'm going to chain lightning him and then need to rock. I'd rather use the Syrian Blaze. No, I'm going to... I'm not going to play that. He plays a bunch of 3-3s uh, three, three, so one. I'd rather actually get the proper value for it, and I want to just draw off this. I can still have the same blade on the thing. So, no, I'm not going to do that. So. Okay. I'd rather soon right. blaze the um, uh, three threes, which I'm sure is going to play out. Right, Glinthorpe picks up his Ancient Den. Glinthorpe picks up his. Ancient again? Yeah. Yeah, but he's he's already still got. I think he's 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 fine on his affinity. I mean, there's he can still play out what the fuck he likes of his, of his mana that he had available to him. I don't think it's really slowing him down a huge amount. You did throw a lot of lands. Ooh. Okay. I won't take that one personally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Need a blocking. I mean, just for the bunt, I need to do this. <laughs> He's gonna have double fucking. So I can cast uh, a copy of your spell in case you do it. Okay, so he's, he's gonna have Galvanic Blast as well. Seven burn in hand. Let's full price the skewer to critic so I can hold up bolt if anything goes wrong. I think that's the best okay. option. Got a second of the was done. But I think we're just dead then at that point. There's nothing I can draw to 
to kill him, maybe a second fire blast. So I take him down to nine. This takes him down to five. I don't think there's anything I can really draw to kill him. Did you really draw all out? Just a few. I mean... Oh, okay. Right. Me too. You should take out the... But I was hoping to find another oh, creature and I was really like, land, land, land. I was like, okay. But... Lucky. Yeah, in a way. That's it. Uh... See, Lagron just gets what? eaten by all of his fucking creatures. I'm actually really tempted by the Molten Rain since most he actually plays fuck all lands. And a lot of his lands are artifact lands. But I'm not sure what else we're bringing in against him. Maybe the Firebrand Archer for a bit of extra reach. Yeah, but it's without flying. And like half his creatures fly. But I can't ping his annoying flies with this, it's without flying. Alright, this at least trades with some of them. It is so, so look, it is bad that he plays so few lands in his deck and they're all artifact, they're basically all artifact lands. Well, not all, two of them are. He plays a really low land count. He can get fucked over by it. But okay, what else, okay, what else would you play over the Molten Rains? I need two cards to go in here. Marauders ain't great. Lava Runners just get eaten. Electricity does fuck all. Curse is definitely too slow. Marta does nothing against them, really. I'll put a Marta in, but the Gitu Long Run literally just gets fucking eaten. All of his creatures can eat this thing. What if you change the logo with that? Sorry, say again? How do you change the logo? What logo? Uh, you know your image over here, you've got like a little kitten. Oh, a little kitty cat. Uh, yep. You can do it on your account settings. But how do you get more? Because I only have this one I have. I think you can purchase them. This one came with uh, the secret lair, the kitty cat. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. I would like a second land, but I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I've only got. The, I've only. I only had the one martyr, so that was already going to. That's that's it. Can't play. 
can pay what you do now. Yeah, makes sense. I really wanted to copy it later on. I was like, come on, do it. I don't think I'd let you. <laughs> I, I, know, think, I, I, would... I think I'd die up in my hand rather than let you copy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, come on, it would be fun. But yeah, I know. I think only one time when I was playing Burn, I did it and I forgot completely. And it didn't kill me, but it was really like, oh my god, I have to really watch out. Looking good for us on this one. Yeah, I think could just be dead on this one. I need a land. I'm desperately a land. That's not a land. Oh, still spells. I need a land followed by a martyr. Well, I'll give you something to kill. Oh, fuck. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. This takes him down close on to turn 11. I draw land. So I can bring him down to 8. To 7. And draw 3. Hmm. If I kill that, then I want a 2 turn tox still with the current board state. As it currently stands, I'm still on a 2 turn clock. I hit him down to 11, I can hit him down to 8. If I hit a land, I can hit him to 7 and draw a card off Needle Drop. Then have Fire Blast that can potentially then take him down to 3 and he's dead to a burn spell. If I kill the Recruit, then he hits me for 6 and I'm technically potentially on a 3 turn clock, but. He's got three cards in turn, I'm still going to probably be on a two turn clock. So I think I go face. In my logic, in, in that logic, I think I still go face. That could be wrong, but I'm going to just keep on going face. The only way I, I think the only way I win this is by me going face and drawing a land off top. Well, that's certainly needed. So let's go Bolt. Let's go Needle Drop and please be a burn spell. I see that the passing before me. That's the expensive burn spell. But okay, so we currently do have lethal. If we live past this turn, he's dead. So I've just got to survive this turn. Okay, he plays another 3 3 for 1. Hits me. To four, don't have Galvanic Blast. Whew. Okay, he doesn't have Galvanic Blast. Yeah, but then if he has Galvanic Blast, I'm dead. I'm dead either way, you know? Like, fucking. This is this is the only this is this is my only line to actually win. So do I smash the smithereens in?
spike and let's just let's just go classic lava spike do you have it do you have yeah. Galvanic blast <laughs> no I don't I'll show you what I had that that was open for a land. <laughs> Prismatic strands, you mean man. I mean, what else can I have against burn? To be honest, I think this is the quickest I can do it. I oh. mean, if you have a bad end, as we saw in game two, yeah, but not just me, anybody can win if you had a bad end, right? Well, so, so this is the if I, you have I, a good end, uh, so I, I can win. So I just, um, I was just what was so long on like your end set was basically like me there contemplating, right? If I kill your 3 3. Then and I know I was hoping you two, would do it. Yeah, then you're on the turn two turn clock. I, I was still going to be on a two turn clock, whatever happened. But if I drew a land off the top, that allows me to potentially kill you. No, no, I know. And to be honest with you, I was, uh, I was hoping either for Galvani Blast or for a land to play that one, but I could not. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. Burn yeah. is hard to beat. And I think that against this deck, despite this deck being really quick, Burn is just weak. Yeah, I, I, I'll be honest, I think in, in game three, I got a little bit lucky. And Missy, I didn't have the greatest of hands to start off with, but I got a little bit lucky on the top there to hit my no, second I think hand. that uh, I think that, to be honest, unless you have a bad end, I can't win. It's too quick. Well, I mean... Well, uh, we say that, you're pretty quick as well. Yeah, hey, but I think like, that uh, if yeah, I... If, uh, so in the, in the third game, if I was playing the first, you, I would have win. Because one more round and I would be able to do damage. But with burn against burn, I think it's very hard because you have a lot of your spell that does three damage. So eventually, if you really have to defend, you can kill basically enemy creature. I think only one creature, well, only four, but it's the same type of creature. It's for toughness. Yeah, yeah. Any of these three. So there is, uh, it doesn't really pump in that way. Um, I think it's possible to win, don't get me wrong, but I think it's very hard. Compared to other deck, like because you do a lot of constant damage, like against uh, um, what is the name of the one I played the goblin uh, um, red deck queen? I think I think yeah. I have more chance of that one, and fun enough that one is quicker than yours. But because I can block it, then it sort of gives me more chance. But against you, I I I have removal because I have a four Gavani blast main board and sideboard aside you against here against you to bolt because i say okay i need to burn you down also with spell could not find any and then uh, the only resolution that i was trying to have it was to have uh, the uh, prismatic strand because in this way it gives me at least two turn where you will not cast uh, I, I will at least stop you to cast one red spell if not more uh, but you know it is what it is i enjoy it and i think that is fair i like burn Thank you for the game. Thank you, man. Always enjoyable. I also am just laughing at Pedro's round three. Oh, I'm round, I'm round three thing. <laughs> I'm an app player. Doesn't mean it's a trigger. <laughs> it doesn't. I, yeah, I, I think I saw this one. I think it was funny. I have an appreciation for that. <laughs> Much same yeah, as no. uh, as his last one with the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's really true. Okay, so can you imagine like two mono blue play? It must be like most boring game to play. Oh fucking hell, man! It's it's a, it's a grind and a half. Do you wanna? Do you have time? Do you wanna see a new deck of BLT yesterday? Of course I do, man. Of course I do. All right, so I play tested yesterday, and I think it's still a little bit of work, but I won both of the game I play. What would you like? To Don't play, play please. What's Anything else but burn, because burn. I won't. I won't play burn. I promise. I, I won't don't play think burn. I have my. Yeah, I don't think I have my deck deck to, against burn because I didn't buy the card. Basically. Yeah, go for it, man. I'll I'll play a deck that I haven't played for a while. Okay, go for it. And hope my land will be that. Are you, are you going to challenge me, or do you want to challenge you? Yeah, yeah, I, I was. I would need to find you and your name is here. Uh, challenge player. All right, so I hope you will like identify. Oh, yes, yes. No. So I hope it works as well as yesterday. But if it doesn't, apply. Uh, but... Let's play that because I'm not. I can't. I can't even remember what the how the deck is built, what the sideboard is. 
I think the last time I played it was in a really janky state. I haven't really finished uh, tuning it. But this is literally, I was, it's really weird, I sort of dream about this deck. Like I was thinking about it and then I woke up in the morning and said, I want to build this deck and then I didn't do it. And then yesterday I was like, oh my god, I really want to see if it works. So I put it together yesterday night, played two games and I won both. So I was like, yeah. Uh, I didn't feel like uh, I chicken up to play this one. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Okay, fair enough. This is sort mm. of playable. I can't. I, keep keep, I can't keep this one. Where's my? Uh, I technically potentially can keep even this one. I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep this hand, but this hand is is terrible. No, don't keep it then. No, I'm gonna, I don't want to go to five. That's all. But it's. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, I forgot. Are you going first? Oh, fuck it. I thought I just clicked yeah. through my fucking turn there for a second. I do that all the time. Is this it's a mono black deck. Is this mono black ninjas? Yes, it is. Oh, fucking hell. I want to see if it works. Oh, this is the ramp for destroy everything you opt for. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Uh, uh, maybe, yes. Are you gonna block? Uh, I don't think I can block. <laughs> That's utterly true. Are you gonna drop a ninja in? Yes. What does this one do? Um, nothing special. Potentially, it should. I, I like it because it's a three three. Okay, that's quite it's, cool. It's a, it's a fucking, it is cool. It's a three three for two. I mean, its ability could could be better in a way. Well, I'm not gonna complain for your three three for two. Yeah, I mean. That's also the reason why I like it. Okay. Let's see if I do that and that. No, I just put that on that. Enchant land, okay. Four mana to cast. Do you remember this? Destroyed land. Yes, it's destroy a target land. <laughs> <laughs> With you, it's very easy to to guess. But yeah, I thought that was this deck anyway. Right. Okay. That that may put back a potential ninja coming in next turn. I think you have to replace that one because oh. it might be more than one coming next turn. Fuck. Okay, that's a potential issue. There's no. It's a friendly ninja. There's no friendly ninjas. There is. But at least I try. You know, I was trying the blue black. I try mono blue, and this is too slow. But this mono black is actually very consistent. So don't get me wrong. If you keep this try, my oh, this was this one. You may put the basic forest card. Yeah, oh, this is, so this is really cool. You can actually play an extra forest each turn with this. So two mana, so you, can, you can put a basic forest from your hand onto the battlefield, and you can sack it to add two green. Wow, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so you destroy your own land? No, no, you, you sack the guy's touch. Ah, okay, I thought that. Okay, so if, I thought you said sack the land. It itself is, oh. is, a free, is a free spell. You play the spell, and you can immediately destroy it for two. So you got four mana like that now. Well, so right now I have four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've got twelve mana next turn. So that's a lot. And you can't play the discard ninja. So fuck you. <laughs> but you can play. Well, you can play I the need... discard ninja. <laughs> First things I need to draw it, and then maybe we can discuss it. Okay. You can block one if you want. No, that's alright. I probably should, but I can't block. I'll block next turn. Alright, fair enough. Which one's this? Okay, it's another 3-3. Three, three. That's alright, I can deal with that. And by deal with it, I can't deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, I'll take that one. Uh, I goes on this. I don't think it really matters. This is the thing. Is this ninja is cool, but also really like I think I, I want to see if I find something better. 
Because it's a 3 3. That is the reason why I like it for two mana. I think it's really good. Oh, I think it's, I think it's absolutely fine. If you're, if you're working on those changing outcasts, especially. Oh, rude. Well, I, don't, I think we agree that you have enough mana. Yeah, I probably don't need any more mana. Can I have something relevant? Well, that's not relevant. You may have me here. There's a lot of creatures in this deck that are unblockable. That is, I think, is what makes it really. Um, I'm gonna do this one just to finish the build. <laughs> oh, I think we're the last game as well, by the way. Huh? I think we're the last game. One second, I'm just, I'm, just gonna, oh. I'm just gonna jump into the lobby. One second, don't worry. Yeah. Hey, hey, guys, just in case you're wondering, I, we are actually finished with our game. We're just um, playing a. a yeah, round round four is coming up in a second. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, don't worry, they're always, they're, they're just, the round's going to come up soon. And dead. No, I don't have any other card. Oh no, he's seven, sorry. I cannot count. It's a quick cheeky sideboard. Uh, I'm gonna leave. I don't think I have any. I'll double check. Let's whack in those. Those, that. Hey. hey, I think it's it up. Oh yeah, rounds. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, fair enough. Round falls up. All right. Cool. Uh, Thank you for the game. No worries, buddy. Right. Let's see the match. Let's see the match. Right. Right. Baldo. What have we got? So Baldo is on. Mono blue fairies. So this one, so we're we're currently this is the final. So us on nine points versus Baldo on seven. So this is the final. Yeah, this is the final coming up. Bit uh, Doug. So he is currently on. Um. He's currently on mono blue Delver. So lots of fucking counter spells. Hello. Hey Baldo. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. This is not potentially the matchup I was looking forward to playing against, but... Well, you're playing pawns, so, like, uh, I know what you play. Oh, uh... you, think on, you think I'm on pawns, do you? Well, you normally have pawns, so what, what else do you play? I don't remember what you play now. Anyway, I don't think I have you in my buddies. What's your name on uh, MTG? Uh, it is... Is it the same as uh, the one in this, on this card? Uh, it's, yeah, it's like, it's Gleesem, so this, this... Plus six oh six three. Please um six zero zero six three. Six zero zero three. No, six zero six three. Okay. Sorry, I plus I said six oh, but I didn't know if that was gonna be confusing if I right, said right. Okay. Alright, I got you here. How have you been, buddy? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Um you do a lot of photography for what I've seen. I do lots of photography at the moment, yes, but mainly it's like product photography, food photography, you know, from home or people that work like with delivery and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What about you? Oh, you know, toddling along. All right. Working as usual. Well, you managed to smart working or? No, so I manage buildings, so I've got to be in and now our building's got like 70 to... Oh, okay, so basically your business has never stopped, really. Oh, kind of, no, no, not at all. Yeah, yeah it's a bit... Oh, not, not too bad, then. Okay, I want to die well. Okay. I could try to keep this. I could also keep this. Okay, so to talk through his hands, I've used, I've used a Baldo. So the reports one, I'm going to put that now, he may try and... He, he loves playing Force Bike. Days no longer in the format. So Force Bike, if I play this, I will have the mountain open to pay for his Force Bike. Soon Blades will kill one of his fairies, which is lovely, and to his face, and Fire Blast is a free spell. So I think this is a completely fine hand. He also thinks I'm playing Ponza. Okay, so let's Ponza you. And suspend the Rift and say go. Are you probably just uh, mono red? Okay. I didn't expect that from you. Have you ever played it uh, at Dark Sphere? Uh, no, I've never played Dark Sphere, no. Hmm. That's a pretty island. Oh, that's from Aquaria. Ah, you're going to do some scrying, are you? Mm-hmm. What are you going to 
with this right. what are you going to do for this guy Listen, I can do lots of stuff here yeah, like 5 too many um, let's do hmm. okay cool so he's not going to have a counter spell up for, for turn 2 so what we're going to do is we're going to Searing Blade his, his yeah, fairies here because um, it means he can't okay. uh, he can't fly the ninja at us Okay, so you two cards on top. Yeah. Oh, you best get ready for that, that mono red mill card. Because my deck is very good, so he only gets uh, <laughs> good cards. <laughs> I have been playing a deck very similar to yours actually recently. Really? Yeah. Mono blue? Yeah, I actually kind of enjoy it. I feel dirty playing Deprive and Mystic Sanctuary, I must admit though. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, like, Weatherstorm exists, so it's good that other nasty combo exists so. yeah i so i played you in a couple of weeks back with this deck and i literally that, i had to, i dealt i had to deal 45 damage to him and i still didn't beat him why hold on something must have happened right oh no no nothing sorry nothing right three to you three to your fairy that's no fine. turn to the but you need to look at the no right side how many cards do I have you do have 7 cards in hand but how many cards do you have less than 7 exactly so you know card advantage is massive in magic right so mm. ah I see you're going to pass with your blue mana up ah yeah that's the Baldo I know and love <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> Guess. Oh, we, we play like that? Okay, that's fine. You want to play my turn? I, play, I can play in my turn as well. There is no problem. Okay, so really what we're doing here is we're bluffing because we've got fucking five go. of our 16 lands. Okay. Um, out at the moment. This is a really shit position to be in though because I have very little pressure on him. He runs four cast spell main. He's got... I guess so we can just... Uh, he's got his flash fairy which will counter each one of my burn spells. Um, like that. It's not a great situation to be in. Double fire blast is not terrible though. So mm. on a red with four lands, uh, like every turn, I've never seen that. Great hitting my eyeballs, buddy. Mm. So you kept a hand with the four lands. It's like so I'm not gonna draw anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I do like how your name is spell Sutter. Yeah. That's my favorite card ever. Really? Ever. Yes. Come on, like a common, there is a counter, there is a creature that flies, that is instant as well with flash. What do you want more than that? I'm gonna wait one more turn. I'm gonna wait one more turn. I. Wow, that's gonna be a long game. I do potentially have lethal, but I kind of want him. I want to overload him with spells. He can have two counters at the moment. Oh, you, you want to go to seven cards again? <laughs> <laughs> I was really jealous that you had seven cards, man, so I wanted to go off as well. I think it's fair. So he can counter two of these. Seven cards in hand. He can counter two of my burn spells here. If he counts those, I deal three down to eleven, and I can double fireball. I think I'll, we wait one more turn. We wait one more turn, and then I'm going to start doing it. Okay, but next turn I'm going to have seven cards in hand. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I'm going to play a fairy. Ah. Okay. What are you going to do if you scry? I'll put one at the bottom then. Ah, see, I'm already winning. <laughs> <laughs> I've already won the game. <laughs> Absolutely.
go. Wow. Do you have the last card spell? I was joking! <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> What did just happen there? <laughs> you had two fire blasts in your hand in No, I can't believe that. I've got some okay. I've, I've got some mana up in four on the four spike if you've got one. Wow. Yeah, I got a horse spike. I, I was like, can I counter that? If I had, if I could have countered that, you were in the deep shit. That yeah, that's, what, that's, that's what I was waiting. I was like, I can't go now because he's going to counter my spells. Ah, okay, no problem at all. No problem at all. No problem. It's the best of three. The best of three. So, <laughs> right. Okay, okay, so here's here's an issue. I don't have any red elemental blasts or pyro blasts, which is really good against him. Um, I do have electricities. Do I go aggro on his ass? Actually, my hand wasn't too bad, but anyway. What did the Stefan, what was Stefano playing? Uh, he was playing mono white uh, with the artifact list. Okay. It was pretty good. It, I, I, I got lucky against him, I'm not going to lie. I, mm. I took the line that if I drew a land off the top, I could beat him. If not, I die <laughs> and I drew the land off the top. So it was. <laughs> wow. Yeah, luck sack. Do you play, do you play a lot of modern on MTGO? Uh, I do play a bit of modern. I may start playing more now because now I'm uh, companions have fucked off. Oh, right. Because you stopped uh, when uh, uh, everyone started. Uh, yeah, companions are miserable. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, Marauders. He has, he has so many creatures to, to, but, to block, uh, so it's not that great. The Firebrand Arch, though, can just get a bit of... At least gets ping damage for when I cast a spell. But is that just better than a burn spell? Probably not. Wow, you just did double fire blast. I'm still like in shock. <laughs> I actually had a third in hand as well. <laughs> third? Yeah, how many lands do you play? <laughs> Not many. Not many lands. You got like six lands. Because now you, you had five lands. You did like land drop every single turn. I don't know actually if I like this um, sacrifice a creature and draw two cards. Uh, what's wrong? Oh fuck! I just... Just <laughs> I've just fucking. I'm. I didn't even click submit. I started fucking around. I didn't know what to slide in, so I'm not even sure. Oh, <laughs> I'm not even sure if my deck sideboarded. <laughs> Oh. Well, what did you do during the time? Uh, well, my, I was, my, I was thinking. My, my hand is horrible, so I have to. Oh. My hand is still very horrible, like really bad. Oh my god! What have you gone down to? You gone to six? You're fine. You going to five? This is absolutely horrible. No, I have to keep this, but I mean, there is no way I can win it. 
No, Ralph. I mean, this is just a good burn hand. What, what kind of hand is Whether this? it's good against him, I don't know, but it's a good burn okay, hand. Okay, I'm going to keep it, but I don't like it. I really don't like it. Okay, fuck it. Keep it. Yes, that's the spirit. I mean, I don't think I've even sideboarded here, so... <laughs> oh my god. Now, this is probably the worst hand I had... Uh... In, uh, in a long time. Yeah, Ponda fixes a lot of those problems, though. Ponda, mm. Ponda fixes a lot of Magic's problems. Mm. It's not really great. Uh, okay, anyway. Very not good. Hit ya. Yeah. There he is. I'm pretty sure that he's not gonna go very far, this Delver, but... Uh... Okay, so he's definitely got... Hey. He's definitely got four spikes. I'm just gonna play him, so I just want him to run out these counter spells. So let's get this Curses running. Let's just... Yep, four spike. Bang! Yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. I did not pay for a four spike. Let's just run these counters out of his hands. To... Fucking every time, Baldo. Every I time I. Thunder. I need thunder. I need thunder. Okay, I'll, I'll allow that. You it's, the first time, it's the first time we actually have resolved thunder in a man's way. I always fuck it up all the time <laughs> on MTGO. I'm like, okay, if I do this one first, then I get it as well. But I, I played this. I played this deck a few times, and I, so many times have I played. Because Miko doesn't let you, like, reorder your ponder. Exactly. Not only that. At the end, after, like, five minutes that you, like, order the cards, you are, okay, that's it. And then, do you want to shuffle some cards in your ponder? And you click yes. <laughs> and you fucked everything. Anyway, that's how much. <sighs> but I'll be honest, whenever I've played you in paper, Baldo, you've always dropped the fucking Delver on the that's, first that's turn. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I'm quite lucky, actually, with ponder, with uh, Delver. Again, uh, am I gonna die of that? Uh, I'm probably gonna die with that. Uh, that's fine. To you, sir. So he's mm. got a counter spell in hand, so he probably has straight up counter spell in hand. Uh, if he taps it here, I'm going to needle drop him because he's, he's at least taking damage this turn. Um, this is an issue, though. Taking three each turn from this is actually a very real threat and may require a lightning bolt, but we'll see. I'm not excited about the prospect of lightning bolting him, but I will needle drop here on the end step. If he gets a counter at his hand, then I'm going to put the second curse down. Sweet. Okay, that's fine. What do we draw? What do we draw? What do we draw? He's got stuff in my upkeep. Thermo Alchemist. It's a thermo because he can bounce. He can <clears throat> if he counts this, I'm gonna bolt his. Actually, if he if he okay, he doesn't count. He doesn't count. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, we just leave it as it is. Um, 
we're gonna play this cool because we, we need to play around but i need to if i can keep this mana open if he taps out kill the insect collaboration as it stands we've got a fairly good clock on him but it's oh, we send two lands what's this preordain sure Does he hit a third land? He's searching for land. What do you do with those scry? Two to the bottom. Mm -hmm. are, you, yeah. are you scrying for a third land by any chance? Oh, I'm telling you about it. Um... That was my, my, my favorite brainstorming moment was when I, I was playing against Annabelle. Oh, rude. <laughs> Sure. I'll use this moment just to whoop to do the right thing. Okay. Kill your aberration. Yep. Uh yeah, playing against Annabelle, I took her down to one land, because I was playing Ponza, of course. Um and I went to go destroy her last <laughs> island and she uh she um she brainstormed of her island to reveal that she had no islands on top of her. <laughs> top oh, of her no, that's horrible. That's really mean. That's all. Yeah. No, I did preordain because obviously I wanted to look for a fucking island that wasn't there. The only thing it was there was like a mystic sanctuary, clearly entering tapped. Because I was like, I had a. Ca I had a counter spell. I think it is gone. I mean, probably you won it. I don't think I no, can do anything. No, I don't, I don't think I was going to get it, man. I ne I can, I'm never going to say I've won against mono blue fairies, man. You've got so many counts, so much counter and so much draw that in no way yeah. do I have. I don't know. Hey, you hit your third land. Yeah. You're but... doing it, buddy. You're doing it. <laughs> I like the fact that you trust me. Uh, <laughs> you're really supporting me. Uh, no. Uh, how do we solve this problem? <laughs> mm. Okay. So I think we're going to play the second how, person. How not to die? <laughs> I think what we're going to do okay, next turn is see. we're going to play um, the second curse. Um, Oh my god, I hate that card uh, if he so much. Counts it, that's kind of fine. If not, um, then we just pass and we can. Well, actually, what we'll do is we'll try and last one. We're just going to run them out of counter spells now. Mm. We're in a good position okay. here. Um, these curses are going to kill him before he kills us. Let's do this one here. And this one here. And then... Okay, so one on top, one on the bottom. Let's put another one of this. I bet he comes back. I bet you that's going to blind flip, isn't it? <laughs> mm. I fucking know it is, man. Don't even... There's no question on it. change everything so we've actually got him dead so let's tap this chain lightning chain lighting uh let's do uh, can i control z yes i can control z chain lighting is fine What about lava spike? Yeah. Well then. I literally have. So I'm done. It's done! No, I made the two mistakes. I made more than two mistakes, actually. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. 
So the first mistake is to uh, when you played the curse, I had counter spawn. Or oh, that you could have countered the curse. I, I, I could have countered it and uh, I didn't do it. I don't know, in my mind was like, I can deal with it. So uh, I, mainly, I, I played out... Mainly because I wanted to protect the elder, but I was like, that's probably shouldn't so, do it. So I was really worried about it. So I, do, I, have another, I have another curse in hand. I played out the curse, but I thought, okay, if he, if he counts it, it's not the end of the world, but it'd be really upsetting. But I yeah. kind of, that Delva had to go. I needed to try and get yeah. you to tap out at yeah. some point yeah. so I could safely remove it. Yeah. Uh, no, I made I made a very, very big mistake. And also, the other mistake that I made really, really bad uh, is that uh, somehow I, I was uh, reading that the thermal, whatever it's called, thermal alchemist, uh, would deal damage to a creature, not to me. And uh, essentially, when I did preordain, I did bottom bottom. I was looking for a third land because what I wanted to do is vapor snag and keep two lands open for uh, uh, when you casted it again. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's fine. Um, in general, I don't think um, my deck is too bad for uh, for mono red. To be honest with no, you, I, because I, I really I... play a lot of counters. It didn't run very well, and I didn't play well either. So. I I, th I think your deck in general is, should probably be favoured. Um, I, I don't know if it's favoured, but I would say like a good 50-50, if not 60-50. Yeah. I played against Mono Red many times, and it's not too difficult to beat for Mono Blue Delver. Yeah, I think you, you but, have the um, tools available to you to beat it. Yeah, you know, absolutely. The only problem is really depending on how you play, because as, as, as a Mono Red player, you want to play in my turn. You don't want to play in your turn. No, I know but exactly. Obviously, you've got lots of sorcery, so... That's the kind of difficult thing here. So I do. I had loads of the sorceries, and it was just, it was really difficult yeah. trying to work out what's. The, I think I played game one all right, trying to build up a big hand. Yeah, no, no, game one was. Uh, I mean, I think game two was also okay. You played the right things. Um, and look, I'll show you my hand. Uh, if it's in my hand, like you're gonna see, really. Um, mm, mm. Oh wow! So you had fucking all the counters, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I made a big mistake because I I've been ha like I had this counter spell in my hand all, all the time, and uh, sometimes I push my luck too far, yeah. too, too much. So yeah. Mate, but, uh, do, you reckon, do you reckon that's a thing of you playing online as opposed to in paper? Because I, from playing against you in paper many a time, I've never known you to uh, yeah. to tap out when you didn't have to tap out. No, and no, exactly that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm also kind of very new to MTGO. I'm also trying to figure out how to play better, and I do lots of mistakes, especially with Snap, which is a really, really, really bad <laughs> card on MTGO because as soon as you play, if you don't untap the lands, they stay tapped. So obviously, it messes up with your strategy because if you have a spell starter sprite in your hand and you do Snap, you want to untap to then cast. Uh, Spell stuff, but you, you don't know how many times I did snap and I forgot to untap. Yeah, so. I mean, I, I was, I, I, I've been pretty new to Mitgo mm -hmm. from isolation. Like I haven't, I haven't played Mitgo for a long time before I went into isolation again. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got used to it a lot more. The, the, the key thing for me was I put now loads of stops on because, mm -hmm. especially, I always make sure there's a stop in my opponent's blocker step to to respond to shit. But yeah. I also pretty much never press two anymore i always just press one i just click through all the phases right um, so i always okay. I always use one just to like make sure yeah, to make not sure yeah yeah, yeah of course i've of course. i've like i've like pressed two through my own attacks before and it's just like fucking yeah i noticed that miserable. i noticed that and uh, have you ever had problems with timing uh yes mostly whilst i'm streaming if i'm honest right because i talk you talk, but is you it, so it does, does it depend on when you play or how you play? Uh, how I play? Like if you like if you play control, obviously it takes more time to you know like doing whatever ponder or whatever like a scry you do. Where obviously if you play burn, it's, it's, it's kind of straightforward. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. There's no there's no like complex clicking clicking thing. Like I'll, I'll be honest, like pon like. A ponder scares the shit out of me on Mitgo still, because right. the, the amount of times I've put it all in the wrong order, like I've clicked, mm -hmm. I, I've clicked, and I'm like, oh shit, I fucked up. I, pr I pr clicked the wrong order, and, and you can't go back. You can't go back. Yeah, you can go back. Is Absolutely. the most punishing of cards. 
Yeah. Because then you look. Because yeah. when you have a Delver out and you play Ponder and you're and the next yeah. the next turn does yeah. not flip your Delver, you look like a fucking idiot. You don't know how many times I did it. That's what I'm saying. Like every time there is Ponder, then I'm like, okay, there are three cards. I put this one on top. That means that I, like you need to play to do like mind tricks in order to to play it right. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it was a good game. Actually, you've been uh, you've been losing a lot against me lately. This is uh, <laughs> this is. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Every time you play Ponza, I don't know. That's not that's not true. With Ponza, we are always like fifty fifty on like. Yeah, Ponza, our, our, our Ponza matchups are actually pretty interesting. I quite enjoy our Ponza matchups actually. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean by playing Pobre? I've never seen you playing Mono Red. Not in paper. Neither. I, I haven't got it in paper. I've got, oh, I've okay, got, I've that's got quite a lot of it in paper. But I probably mm -hmm. could actually play it in paper now I think about it. I think I don't have the fire blasts. I think the fire blasts. Have you ever, fire blasts have you ever played Mono Blue Delver? I've got I've got Mono Blue Delver. I play I play it in uh, right. I play it on Mitko. I've, I've got, well, do, I've you got play, do you play it with uh, Delver or without Delver? Oh with Delver, with Delver. Oh <laughs> my Delver. my list, let's have a look. Uh I mean if you look on if you follow the link, if you go to the general chat and click on the link to my stream. General chat on Discord? Or, yeah, on, on uh, Discord. So if you go to the general chat on this Discord, and there'll be a link to my stream. Uh, let me see. Where are you? Uh, it should be one of the top ones. It'd be Delice, Delice 89. Uh, the Gitrog picture. Let me see. So if you, you go on general chat? I'm on, uh, yeah, home, right? No, 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 no. The texture on, on, this, on this thing here. On, so on the Pauper London League. Oh, in the, the problem in, underneath. In okay. the, in the text General chat. Oh, okay, right. Okay. Yeah. So if you look up there, I'll get up my Delver fairies list so you can see it. So that should take you through to my. Also, today's been Burns Day, man. I went four. I've gone four and zero, and I think I dropped one game. We uh, what? Uh, I dropped one game against Stefano. All oh, right. When he just out aggroed me on one on one game. Mm -hmm. Do you play Do you play Sigil of Sleep on your uh, Delver? No, I don't. So if you that's a card that honestly I've been playing a lot, and you cannot even imagine how good that card is. Like against certain against certain decks, it's like it wins alone. And these decks are Elves and Stompy and Mono White Heroic. It wins alone. Even against Affinity is really, really good. Because obviously as a Delver player, you don't have anything that can, you know, block uh, the 4-4. So a Sigil of Sleep, unless you play the Galvanic Blast on that, and I don't have to have like a Spell Starter Sprite, Dispel, or whatever, it's it's so good. It's really, really good. Yeah. Because that originally was like just a test, but now it's like I, I play four copies in my sideboard. Another card that is a fantastic uh, in sideboard, and I play again four copies, is uh, Unknown. Yeah, so okay, so I need to go through my sideboard for you because you're much more mono blue than I. So, if you can you see, oh, so I, can, can yeah. you see the list up, up now on the board? no, I cannot see it. I don't, uh, click, so, no. so, click, so, click the link onto my Twitch channel, right? I'm on. Oh, I need to go into your. Yeah, okay, yeah, give me yeah, a second. Yeah. Sorry, lucky now. I'm like. Uh, I Gra am Grandpa going... Baldo over there. <laughs> <laughs> right, I opened something. No, because I, I'm also doing it with you know, like Stefano's computer. Stefano gave me his, his own uh, computer. Oh yeah. But this computer is quite old. Um, I don't know how many times I actually clicked that link. So, <laughs> uh, um, is some. So you should be able to see when it gets to it, my stream, and then you should be able to see. Really? Loading. Ah. Uh. We there? Have I lost you, Baldo? Something. Thing is happening. Is it? Is it? Is it turning the clocks? Wish that. If I say so. Okay, now I have tips for. Say that again. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, it's it's, it's a bit stuttery. Hello. 
Mark? Yeah. Oh, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit. It's a bit. It's a bit stuttery. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on. Oh, it is really struggling. Tell you what would be, tell you what would be, tell you what would be even easier. Let me, let, okay. me, let me, let me do this an easy evo. I'm going to screenshot my my deck list. So, do you want me to go? I'm in your channel. Okay, so you can see my deck list up up on the on the stream right now. So currently, I've got three mystic sanctuaries, and then fourteen snow covered islands. The snow covered islands are in there because of the sideboard card Winter's Rest, which is a two mana. Um, Claustrophobia. So it's one in the blue, uh, enchant creature, uh, tap it, and as long as you control another snow permanent, it doesn't untap. Um, so there's that. That's why I play the snow covered islands. Uh, four Delver Secrets, four Fairy Miscreants, no Fairy Seers. So I do the Miscreants because I like the drawing of the cards rather than the scribe, but I can see the arguments either side of that. Um, two Force Bike. I potentially would like more, but two force bikes, uh, four ponders, four pro four pre old uh, four counter spells, two deprive. Are you playing any deprive in your deck? Hello. You play means Krant instead of Pharisee. Yes, yeah, so you're playing the other one. So it's Pharisee. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've got the four sprites. Four snaps and two fathom seers, which I have weirdly loved. Fathom seer, fathom seer has been a really good addition because it, can... it's just see. it's just basically gush. I mean, it's not basically gush. I have to pay three mm -hmm. three mana for it, but it's it's when I want it to be there, I have a gush on. Do you it. So what? And what does it do again? Uh, By yeah. the way, I can. Hello? Yeah, there is uh, some sort of uh, echo when you talk. I don't know if it's... Uh, oh, you, could probably, you, my... could, you could probably mute, if you mute my, my page. If you uh, mute my 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 feed on uh, Twitch. Okay, give me a sec. That probably will help. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, 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 really well. Fantastic. Okay, now... Oh, I should be fine. So this uh, card that you're playing that is like Gash, so it's one blue and one colorless and one that's... Uh, so basically, it's... Uh, it's... Um, yeah, sorry, I've Pip was on my chat. Yeah, Pip, I'll come join you in a second. I'm just going to talk through this really quickly and then we'll go look at your stream because I think Pip wants to go watch this match. So Fathom Seer, okay. it's one in the blue for a 1-3, which is meh. However, <laughs> it's a morph. So you can play three and play it face down. So it's a 2-2 face down morph mm -hmm. but its morph cost is to return two islands to your owner's hand and draw two cards so then right. so basically you return two islands to your hand which one of them can be mystic sanctuary which is always nice and then you, right. draw, you draw two cards and you then have a one three which is a fairly okay blocker um so i have two of those in the main okay. uh and then i've got one tragic lesson Four Ninja of the Deep Hours and four right. Spire Golem. No, the deck, I mean, the deck is quite different, the one that we play, actually. Um, first of all, I don't play for Ninja. I play only two Ninja and two Agro So you got the Agro uh, then. Interesting. I, I, yeah, the reason is because uh, at least uh, the, the way I play, I even if I have it in my hand, I will never play ninja after I do fairies. Uh, uh, I do fairies first turn and then I do ninja. The reason is because ninja is super important and you want to protect it. And if you play it wrong, it messes up with your with your style and with your uh, strategy. So I tend to play when I can protect it. Essentially, if I have like a four spike or if I have like a counter spell and so like either three or four manas, and that's why two is fine. On top of that, uh, Agrobolas is great as a blocker, and it's uh, 
almost like a ninja, and you own at least one card. Yeah. I, I, I get and that. And that's why I really like it. And I can, I can very much see why you'd play also the Fairy Seer over the Fairy Miscreant. I like the immediate being able to draw cards, but again, like by itself, it does it has no value. You need the multiples on them, so I think it you mitigate some potential issues with just having the Fairy Seer over the Miscreant. But um, I think my list is a bit more aggressive than your list. Yeah, probably yours is more aggressive. I don't know. For me, like Fairy Seer is... Uh, important much important yeah I, I i get that my sideboard is where i'm always a bit kind of met on um so at the moment i've got one blue elemental blast three hydro blasts which is just because that's what i had uh there's no real reason why not to play do you mind that? sorry like i can hear like i can hear like three things at the same time i have uh, because I will just mute my stream. Just make uh, sure it's muted. So if you go to where my my on the Twitch page, just just turn off the sound on it. Oh, you there? Baldo? It's gone deadly quiet. Okay, darn it. Cool. Can you still hear I can, it's a bit choppy. Hear me. It's quite choppy. The voice is sounding a little a little sad. Yeah. Oh, your voice chat. But I miss why, why don't you to this um why don't you, why don't you try try closing um try closing my my Twitch thing. I think I think as soon as you open Twitch or my yeah, no, no. on my thing, I think yeah. it killed it kills your thing. Okay, so can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now, yeah. Okay, it looks like fine now. Um what I was saying is you say that uh, you want to fix your sideboard. Yeah, so look, I'm going to send you a picture. Here is a picture. Is it still in general chat? And I'm going to send it to you personally. So that's my okay. that's my sideboard currently, which I'm a bit, I'm always a little bit met on it. Right. It's uh, I think I play we play three cards sideboard, no five cards actually. They're the same. The rest is all different. So the thing with sideboard for me is what what who is the enemy? <laughs> so for me, like the very bad matchup with Mono Blue Delver are um, those. Um, then you have Mono White Heroic. Yeah. Affinity is not too good either. And Elves. Yeah, if Elves you, are fucking if you, nightmare. If you, if you manage uh, to, to solve these four, you're, in my opinion, the deck has a 70% a of win against every deck, in my opinion. Again, I, 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 I've been playing it for a long time, and I still don't play like 100%, obviously. Um, the Sigil of Sleep, for me, is a must-have card. Because, again, if you play against elves, and you do, like, turn to Sigil of Sleep or one of your creatures, you, you automatically win against elves. Because the problem with elves is that you want to you want to always to bounce the timber watcher and uh, the well wisher. Yeah. So as soon as you have the sigil of sleep uh, on one of your flyer, he cannot do anything. You you bounce it every turn, and so you close the game like that. It cannot do anything. Pretty much is the same thing against Stompy because Stompy again you put the sigil of sleep, it's done. Um, then uh, annul. I see how many annul do you play? You don't play any annul? I haven't got any annuls. Annul is like crazy against Boros. Uh, so the, the, the way you win against Boros, it's uh, by trying to make sure that Boros doesn't do card advantage. And they do card advantage uh, um, through artifacts. Yeah. 
So if you counter all the artifacts, they cannot do anything because when they play the uh, Sky Fisher, they cannot bounce anything that uh, gives value back. Yeah. So if you counter the, the artifact, yes, they can play the 2-3, but they don't have the advantage. So it's still a balanced game. Not to mention that, again, against Tron is also very good. I always fight it as well. Uh, it's uh, good against uh, Affinity, as I was saying, yeah. for obvious reason. It's good uh, against uh, uh, Mono White Heroic for all the enchantments and all the um, that, that he plays. And um, and so for me, Anonda is a card that needs to be there. I also play two Dispel. Um, and when I play three Stormbound Geist. I play two Relic of Progenitus, not one. And um, so I play two Dispel, four uh, Annul, four um, a Sigil of Sleep, and he's eight and ten, and then two Relic, and he's twelve. What else do I play? Um, two, 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 three, five. Five Blast at all? No, I don't play any Hydro Blast. I only play Dispel. Because, I mean, you, you already have four uh, Spell Starter Sprite. You have uh, two dispel. I, I play three spike, for example. What about, what know... about like red deck wins and like all like well, the red aggro decks, not the red burn decks, well, the red aggro decks. Well, with the red aggro decks, uh, the um, spell starter sprite they are very good. Um, the um, I play lots of like for example, you only play four snap, right? Yeah. I play four four snap, three vapor snag, and two echo intrudes main deck. I haven't got any vapor snags either. Because I play tempo. For me, it's all about having your three to four manas and being controlled. So the first two, three turns is you need to adjust your mana. Reason for reason why I play only two ninja. Because for me, the aggro bolus is if I play against an aggro uh, deck, I don't want ninja. I want the aggro bolus. And I can play straight away. And I still have the advantage of the card and I can block and my creature is still there. As soon as you do ninja, and they kill your ninja, you have one creature in your hand, and one creature is gone, and you didn't draw card. So it's a waste. But if you do it when you have, you, when you can protect it, then it makes sense. And the reason for Agro's Agrobolas is better is because it's better against Stompy, it's better against Elves, it's even better against Mono White Heroic. Um, then uh, how many, um, uh, the two four flying play the titan whatever it's called the golem how many golems do you play four there are four i play two, i play two so i play two golem two ninja two ogre bolas and then four spell status pride four delver four fairies here i was saying you play miscreant over fairies here yeah i do i much i much really... prefer the raw the raw card draw over but yeah but the card draw first of all uh, you have a card draw if you see the second uh, miscreant first of all yeah secondly the fairy seer is super important how many lands do you play 17. i play 16. and uh, the reason why sometimes i keep hands with one land is because having a fairy seer first turn allows you to keep hands with one land and basically if, even if you don't see two lands in uh, with the scry, you can still put them at the bottom, and that means that you basically need a ponder. Yeah. The the fairy seer is great against uh, when you play with ninja, for example. You play fairy seer, you see what cards you want to play, and then you do ninja. Like there are so many tricks you can do it. Even if you do it, for example, uh, uh, with um, with ninja. Once you do it with ninja, and you take fairy seer. As soon as you do fairy seer again, you need another scry. I don't know, for me, for me, it's too good. Even if you play against Sponsor, for example. Against Sponsor, Fairy Seer is much better than Miscreant because you always want to see lands. So if you have Miscreant, you haven't done anything because you don't have, if you don't have the second one, you cannot see land. But if you have Fairy Seer, Fairy Seer allows you to kind of uh, look further. Yeah, no, you're right with that. I was, it, 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 in my head, it was a kind of a toss-up, but you are right. Like the, the, the... The floor on Fairy Seer is much, it's is great. much higher it's, than... It's fantastic. Yeah, the... I, I would never go back to Miscreant. I mean, I'm saying that now, but I've been playing Fairy Seer since when it was uh, printed, and uh, for me it's been like fantastic, honestly. Um, and then, 
it really depends on what's, what, how you play Mono Blue Delver, because for me, it's pure tempo. So what I want to do is I want to try to slow down the opponent until I can do, I can play control. I mean, obviously you can play different strategy, one of which is you play Delver and you protect it and you win it like that. But depending on who you are playing against, for example, against very aggro deck, you want to see aggro bolas straight away. Aggro bolas is sometimes is what makes you win against uh, uh, Stompy. Yeah, no, you are kind of right there. And I think I think the way I kind of play it is I just kind of where how I play my match is just what I've drawn in my hand really is where I'm like, okay, this hand yeah. is one that I can go on the on the aggro with, or this one I have to play the tempo, or this one I've got yeah. to sit back and wait for my moment. Also, if you think about it, you play at the moment for Golem, right? Yeah. So, with 17 lands, for Golem, sometimes you have it in your first hand, on your first two, three turns, and that's not a great card to see. And uh, the reason why you're playing Golem is to block creatures that are too fast against you. So, if uh, instead of uh, two Golem, you see two Ogre, the Ogre you can play straight away. But if you have the golem in your hand, you cannot play it because you don't want to even tap out completely. Yeah, you really want to actually play the golem for mana. Yeah. No, you are right there. You are and right. that's why if you if you keep like the mana cost very low, you can even play with sixteen. I've been playing with sixteen, and I, and I really have problem with land, especially because I play fairies here. Obviously, if I didn't play fairies here, probably I would want to go to seventeen land. But with Fairy Seer, 16 lines are fine. I don't even play 4 Ponder and 4 Preordain. I play 4 Preordain and 3 Ponder. Hmm. Um, do you play the enchantment, the one that gives plus 1, plus 2 no, when you draw your 7 card? I don't play that one either. But I've seen that uh, some people play it and it's, uh, it looks like uh, Very they are doing good. Yeah. But I never play this Winter Rest. Like, for example, why do you play Winter Rest? Uh, it deals with, um, I play it against things like the Mono White Heroic decks, which will get a big old creature and hit you with it. So those, cre those, but, those decks that rely on the one kind of creature just to hit you. Uh, right, but wouldn't, wouldn't Sigil of Sleep do the same for yeah. one mana less? Yes, but it relies on me having a creature on the battlefield that's still able to attack in as well. Which, admittedly, yes, you, you should be able to fly with a fairy. But, um, yeah. Like the sigil, I could. I feel like the sigil you can get blown out on, whereas the winter's rest, it's very difficult to get blown out on the winter's rest. So, but the sigil of sleep is more versatile. Yes, you are right there. Yeah. Again, if you want to win against elves, there are no other cards. I, I, I basically the elves is with Delver. If you flip Delver second turn and you and they don't uh, they don't draw and play the World Wisher and the Timber Watch. But if you want to win against us, you need to have Sigil of Sleep. Like, you have to. Otherwise, you cannot win. Like, it's not possible to win against elves, uh if you don't, uh, don't play that card. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you, can can ask, you can ask Ewan, you can ask Pedro, you can ask uh, Alex. I played uh, against, uh, against all of them, and they played elves. No, ask I, them I, how I bad the right, Sigil of Sleep is. Yeah, I, I played against elves last time I played this deck, and I was like, I felt so hopeless. Yeah, you feel like it's impossible to win. With Sigil of Sleep, it's the opposite. They feel like they cannot win. Because you're fly, flyers, and they don't. So you basically bounce a creature every single turn. And the only thing you want is to bounce really these two creatures, because you don't care if you take two damages sometimes. It's fine. The problem is that you want to bounce uh, whatever doesn't make you win, which is, again, World Wisher and Timber Watch. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, the deck is pretty much similar. The only thing I don't play, Edro Blast, I don't play anymore. Um, just because, again, a 2D spell for me are fine. And, again, it's more versatile. Um, to be honest with you, even... Oh, another thing, for example, that you don't play a null. There are lots of black and white uh, Pestilence deck. Yes. How do you win against that? A null does the same. And null is good because uh, it's good against pestilence. It's good against that stupid artifact that uh, let you gain one uh, one life. Oh god! Like yes. it's so versatile. Like you can use it so many decks. So I mean, I have the Aura Flux, 
that's a new that's 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 it's like unless it's uh, you have one copy if you play something like uh, what was the card uh, that would deal uh, five damages to each creature without flying? Oh, um, the red one. Uh, oh. I can't remember the one with flashback. Uh, no, no, flashback no, no, with uh, fla oh, no, yeah, it's a true threshold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was gonna say. I can't remember the name. God, I was gonna say rolling thunder, but it's not rolling thunder. It's um, care of X torch. No. no, 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 no. Five damage to each creature without flying, and he has uh, treasure. Oh, uh, swelling sandstorm. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. And so you play that in one copy because obviously you can take it with the uh, ogre bolas, you can do it with ponder. But like playing one relic and one araflox, how do you get an enchantment uh, in mono blue delver? Like it's like completely random. Yeah. So. You need to play more copies. I, I think two relic is the minimum. And again, a null is good because it's an instance. So again, you play over bolas, so you have a lot of chances to get a null and play against, uh, you know, affinity or whatever you're playing against. And uh, stonebound guys, again, three copies is really good. Against boros, uh, it's what makes you win. And also against mono, mono, mono black, because against mono black, uh, that card is super important. Yeah, you're right about them. Yeah, I think I shall have a tinker with my sideboard then, and maybe the yeah. main deck as well. Are you discussing your mono blue mark? Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, have you seen the cultivates in uh, M twenty one? I have just seen. <laughs> What's the cultivate? Cultivate is you ser you basically three mana search a library for two lands, put one into play. Or basic, and what basic color lands. is it? Green. Green. Green two. two. Green two, yeah. So it's a two basics. Oh, it's a, it's a creature. No, it's a, it's it's it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a sorcery, but it's it's just more ramp. So standard has a lot of oh, ramp okay, now. Okay, okay. So standard mm -hmm. has basically effectively like a birds of paradise. It has a two. Right. It has a two two. It's a two mana creature that's a mana dork. Plus mm -hmm. also it has a two mana instant, which lets you draw a card and put a land from your hand onto your battlefield. Right. And you also have another one mana creature that when you play it, you can put a land from your hand onto the battlefield. Right. Now you've got Cultivate, and you've got Nissa, who is at five mana doubles your forests. Yeah. And now you've got Cultivate, and you've also got Uro, which lets you put more lands onto the battlefield. It's all as absurd. There's so much ramp in Standard <laughs> right now, and they've just printed Ugin into Standard. Right. And with all this, Ugin. They want Green to be good. <sighs> Green was already so good. So you also I know. so at four mana you've got Questing Beast, which is a a small little essay on a card. So effectively, it's it's a battle. Have you seen Questing Beast, Baldo? Mm, I think so. Is it the uh, the creature? Yes, the, the one that, that every time he attacks you gain either true life or you create the. No, uh, no, 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 that's 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 a new one. That's new one's going to come out in a second. It's four mana, trample, hexproof, death touch. Whenever it deals damage to a player, it deals that much damage to target planeswalker that player controls. Is it trample and death touch? Oh wow! It, sorry, it has it has haste. Yeah, haste, trample, death touch. I don't think it's got trample and death touch. I think it's got haste, death touch. Has it got the corner? Did, did they give it trample and death touch? <laughs> I don't think That's they crazy. did give it trample and death touch. It's a bit. Uh, I'm just googling it. It can't be blocked by creatures of power two or less. Oh, uh, that's the that's the one. Yeah, sorry. Um, and also when it deals damage to vigilance, a player, death touch, yeah, haste. Vigilance, vigilance, death touch, haste. Um, yeah, sorry. Just I, I thought if they give it a trample and death touch, that's like absurd. That's too no, that's no, too no. silly. Um, more so than it usually is. And also when it hits a player, it deals that much damage to a planeswalker that right. that you control. I think it's a plane that they yeah, control. That they control. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it basically, it does everything. It slices the dice. It's a four mana four four for all that. And there's now a five mana six six that when it attacks all blocks, you get to choose to either gain three life, which is a yeah, that's the one I was uh, talking about. Yeah, which is a significant number. 
or put a 3-3 on the battlefield or what was the other ability? Is it destroy something? No. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I had something. The other ability was actually good as well. I don't remember, but I've seen it before. Uh, it was... What the fuck are they doing? Uh, draw a card. Yeah, sorry, draw a card. Yeah, exactly. Like, it basically, that's, that's insane as well. Because if you have nothing and you're just an advantage... It's green, right? Yeah, it's green. So you're, you're, you, you can get that. You can now get it. Well, not even now. You can get it out on turn three if you want to. I, yeah. I don't know how some decks deal with that in standard, at least anyway. Um, they've no, also it's, just it's crazy for card. the for the blue green flash deck. It's not a flash creature, but it's, actually this is more it, this is more an un, uh, like a draft uncommon. But uh, law, the green one won't see play though. Law scale coatle, which is whenever you draw a card, put plus one plus one counter on it. It's a two T for three. That's that's not good for standard, but it's a it's good. Um, that's a good um, uh, draft card. Um, uh, I'm not sure if it, I think it will get played. At least I think it may get played in a sideboard. Not till Ura rotates. Is there anything for Merfolk at all by any chance? No. It's very early spoilers, so it's mostly mostly like mythics and rares that are being oh, spoiled. Okay. Um. Is there anything for Merfolk? I don't really. Think think so let's have a look oh, pauper card how many how many cards have been have, oh there uh, is no, there's a pauper, there's a pauper card uh, that got spoiled today uh, yeah so, he, he, we've seen it yeah the we've one black mana instant oh i was saying I'm, to be honest i was more excited before but i read it again and i mean it's basically you lose two cards and you get two cards yeah but there's yes, so instant, you have you have, but... add, you have added uh incentive uh, of putting something maybe into your grave like say like a torch resistance deck or of course of course if you if you put it in a if, but i'm saying it's not like a versatile card that every deck that plays black no 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 play. no no yeah no it's not, it's, 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 it's not a that. it's an upgrade for an it's existing card that yeah. might push some current archetypes absolutely. into a higher tier absolutely but as a general card i don't think it's like a, no. you know, like a card that many decks will use I don't, I don't think like mono black will use it, for example. Probably not. No, they no, they occasionally play Alter's Reapers like a one of in the sideboard, but mostly they don't bother. No, I don't I don't think they it'd be much of a thing. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can scroll down to the commons. I've been spoiled so, thus far. Um, there's the two two dog for two that two. that can that can tap to ping maybe. No, it's not good maybe. enough. Maybe. There's already there's already a one mana one one for one that taps to ping. Yeah. In fact, there's several. Well, is there? Any, any interesting lands? Uh, they reprinted um, Radiant Fountain. Okay. Uh, that's four mana, so I think that's a bit too expensive for pauper. Um, where the acolyte when it when it enters the battlefield, put a plus one counter on each, on up to each of uh, up to two target creatures you control, but four mana I think is a little much for that. And revitalize. I don't think there's really anything else. Tormod's Crypt gets reprinted as well. Does that put Tormod's Crypt into Pioneer? We've got Relic and Pioneer. Uh, you've got Relic and Pioneer already, but Tormod's Crypt is probably good in a, a good addition. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it, it could probably be used in thing better in things like uh, like some sort of like Shram kind of. Artifacty mm. kind of thing, but it's pretty good. Yeah, so I mean, how I'm, how, I'm how time to turn off my stream? So I'm gonna say goodnight. How did they fix? Uh, how did they fix the companion uh, uh, issue? <laughs>